Hey, James. Hey there. You beat Carl? Of course you I did. Carl here. I'm I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you're slowing down, dude. Oh. Oh, it's been a while. Paula's up, uh, Paula Lauterbach is up in Sacramento, or she's on her way to Sacramento. She's going to see some friends of hers up there. All right. What's it like up there, the weather-wise? Hot. I just came back from uh, uh, Seattle area, where it was, you know, in the 60s and 70s to 100 degree temperature. It's like, wow. No. I was I, her friends moved from LA to Sacramento, and I was just thinking about it. That why would somebody move to Sacramento? <laughs> Hi, Rob. Uh, a lot of great reasons to live here. No great reasons to visit here, other than you know we don't have any great museums or anything. I mean, well, it's the capital. It's got to have nice stuff to see, and it's historic. There's all that historical stuff that happens there. Yeah, it's. Uh, takes about a couple hours to run through the capital, the historic part of the capital, and that's it. Okay. You walk outside these uh, old rooms, and this is not set up the way it was back in, you know, at the beginning, and it's like, okay. Um, you know, we don't have any great uh, scenery, you know, mountains or bridges or whatever. No, I'm, not, I'm not seeing any real benefits to living in Sacramento. You're not selling me on it. Oh, for living here, it's great because the, uh, you know, normally the weather's great. Normally the weather is great. Uh huh. Yes. A hundred degrees in May. That's not normal. Mm -hmm. I was just a week in uh, Florida, and uh, although the temperature was always like 90, 91, every single day, the weather app said it feels like 105. Oh, man. Rob, did you watch the, uh, the, the uh, last uh, trivia no Aww. we talked about you oh <gasps> i'm gonna have to then. oh there you didn't well we it? mainly we said how much we appreciated what you're doing oh it was very Aww. very nice of you and and i wanted to let you know that i will be not here next thursday <laughs> so you might are you going to be around or do i have yeah. to get somebody else ready to do this yeah yeah i'll be here Okay, that, that would be helpful. Um, I believe that um, Peggy volunteered to do a whole category, the whole thing. I don't know if she wants to do it next, next week. We shall see. It's been interesting. Hi, Kerrig. Hi. How are you? I'm good. That's good to hear. Is it killing hot and horrible and miserable there? It's a thunderstorm. So if my phone dies, I'm out because I can't charge it. Oh no. So I got 53%. So I'm going to stay as long as I can. Well, you should be okay. 53% should be all right. Yeah. And it's a fairly new phone. So. Oh yeah. You're probably okay. At least long oh. enough. You could, you could quickly, quickly charge it just long enough to come back. <laughs> okay. Where are you? You in Kentucky or where are you at? No, I'm, I'm in Illinois, just like my dad. Okay. But that's right. He's in a little, he's in a country town and I'm where he used to live in DeKalb where NIU, Northern Illinois University is. Oh, so much more uh, where there's a city. Yeah. And now we're joined by Alan. We're gonna be losing Avi pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Moving to Germany. Yeah, it would be hard to, for him to join in at that time. He can barely yeah. stay awake when he's in the US. <laughs> <laughs> I know I keep saying I need to do these more at a different time, but and I always keep saying it, but it isn't happening yet. It, it's just so. So where are you Thursday? I'm going to Vegas. There's a huge party that's happening in Vegas for Ben Radford's 50th birthday party. But it oh, is his 50th cool. birthday. he's invited 50 people, even though I think he's going to be 52 or 53. <laughs> just he's kept putting this off for so long. I don't know who's going to be there. But Sterling's going with me, and oh. Brian Dunning should be there, and of course all the the people from the Squaring the Strange, and hopefully Emery Emery and Heather Henderson will make it, but I don't know. And Kenny Biddle will be there. 
So don't be, don't be mad. Don't be jealous. But that's all I know. I don't know who else will be there. But they said that I, Kenny, Kenny asked Ben, he says, who's going to be there that I know? And he says, I can't tell you who's going to be there, but you'll know at least three quarters of them. <laughs> I don't know if that's because they appear on the show or I don't know, but there people should be a from bunch the of skeptic people. sphere. It's a, some private party, and I, I don't think I've ever been invited to a private party before. <laughs> so is that, a, is that a flight for you, or are you going to drive it? Oh, I'm flying. Hell no. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's actually about five hours or six hours, so I'm told, but uh, no. It's it. a horrible drive. Oh, Leonard's got his haircut. And all the other ones, too. All of them. Well, as many as we can see. Everything from here up. Oh. <laughs> I don't TMI. I don't need to know anymore. Hi, Bob. Where's Hi. Mem and Max? Men um, and Max. Um, Max, he'll probably come on over. Max is well, reading Max. the newspaper today. Max, come here. <laughs> come here. I have chicken questions tonight. It's going to be Kevin, all Kevin. So I hope you guys all brushed up on your Billy Joel. Oh. And Mr. Hi, Dad. Kevin. Hi, Dad. Are you here? Yeah, I'm oh. early. She got here early. Oh, there, okay. Well, she was talking about. I don't. I can't. I was having dinner with his son, my brother, and then I realized it was a lightning storm, so I came home because my dog was scared. Oh, oh okay. Um, I was like, oh, but I drove 25, but I drove home because I realized my dog was going to be scared. Um, go to Gmail. Me. No, the, it's your mom's stupid iPad. It's asking me what I want. It won't let me log in. Go to Gmail. Are we all supposed to go to Gmail? <laughs> no, it just fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Rob, how was your vacation in, in um, the, the. It was better than I thought. Actually, we, did you we, get any monkey pox? We didn't actually go for vacation. It was uh, my my wife's cousin's wedding and uh so three days three pieces of three days were planned around that like the rehearsal the wedding itself and then the next day was a brunch and we kind of thought that would be it but then turned out we went to the beach and met the bride and groom the next day and then the day after that which was our final day there her sister invited us to the house for dinner and so we spent a lot of the time with family i didn't do too much sightseeing stuff except except for this place what where were that? you you see you see you see that so the donut so that's my wife standing putting her arms up into the air with nothing there so this was an augmented reality uh exhibit you could only see that on your uh, phone or ipad oh interesting it looks yeah. like a giant stargate or something yeah it, it, it and you can go right up to it and see text on it clear as day there were there was amazing uh, it, 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 it was in a nature park but I, I really, I had never seen this kind of a thing before. So it really impressed me. I'll show you one of the virtual one that I loaded. So here's another one. So, the heck? And, and you know, I had different it's angles of floating that, rock where, where my wife just walked all around. Oh, it, it's the rock it's like, that's floating. Yeah, the rock's floating. Yeah. I saw the, cur I was just looking at the blanket. Yep. So, so that rock. was his wife under the blanket, right? <laughs> So Rob, every time you seem to go, you finally venture out into the world, you get it COVID. I was not or, happy. Or you meet I, somebody I not, who's what, a psychic. When I booked this trip, there was still the rule about you had to wear a mask on a plane, you know. So I, I was not thrilled. And of course, I would say less than ten percent of the people had a mask. Right. And the person were you know three and three. So the person next to me, both directions, did not have a mask and was coughing the entire time. Two different people. Um, I'll be amazed if I don't get sick. I'm amazed looking, that you looking. managed to do it and not have a uh, have a breakdown of some sort or something. Yeah, that's just um, not, not like not you. happy. Uh, excuse me, my my child. Yes, my child just informed me that across the hall in his room there, uh, his computer was not plugged in, so it's kind of so he's he's recharging. So hopefully he'll join. Otherwise he'll join with me because this is his grand finale for a year. You know. I know. So, we were just so. saying we're going to lose Avi here pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's so uh, he do, and he's not even doing a category, he should be doing a farewell category. That's right. Well, he'll do something on Germany, maybe in the middle of the night, but uh, <laughs> so, he, so hopefully he'll join us pretty soon. He wants to give it a little time to uh to charge up. Well, that's great. Okay, that's and I'm just losing him. 
Yeah, and I'm disappearing because I'm eating. You don't want to be watching me eat. Oh, well, at least we have your brother. At least he seems to be staying. So if we can't have Augie, why is he yeah. here? Is he's he not here right now? But I mean, he's been showing up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I think it's great. Leave. We're getting yep. you. You can't. You can't leave unless you bring somebody. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm disappearing for a minute. Okay, bye. I see Kevin's here. I hope I'm glad Kevin's here because right. I'm we, glad have, we have nothing to do tonight. Oh, it's tonight. It's me. Yeah, uh, I know you're kidding. You've been you've been planning it. Yeah, you've been, you've been figuring out how you can sneak Billy Joel into every category. Nope. Oh, or the opposite that they will have anything but Billy Joel, and we know that now because there will not be any. I'm not saying a word. You know, you we can read you like a book, Kevin. Never met you in person, but I know you. Uh-huh. He's like, I'm not saying nothing. Oh, Susan. So I, I did turn, because uh, I noticed that, of course, you were busy with other things to do instead of uploading the videos that were made of trivia when you weren't there. Uh, but I saw that you downloaded the one that I did all four categories. And it recorded very weirdly. Instead of recording the, the view where you see everyone, it was speaker view. It's always speaker view when you send it to me. And I'm, I'm what, it in, worse than that, when I left, page. when I left the main area to go to a room, it was just blank for as long as. Oh I yeah, was yeah, there. that's right. I, what, the, I, what the hell's I'm that? I'm not about? editing anything. I don't know why it does that when you <sighs> do it, but it does that every time you, every time. I don't understand. Um, why are you telling us the? Oh, Abby. Oh, There's Avi. I'm around? sad. Avi. It's <laughs> making me sad. There's your hands in the chat. Hmm? <laughs> That's Here all the hands you get in the chat. Okay. Um, A little yeah, sprout. My computer is liable to decide that the battery is dead any moment, even though it's charging, because um, the battery is either dead, close to dead, or the um, computer thinks that the battery is dead or only oh. mostly dead yeah. <laughs> aren't you um mostly dead. yes leonard parties at my house on sunday hi jane hi you're welcome to come to our party on sunday if you'd like anybody who's close by who wants to come to my party on sunday please come by what time one is With Paula is going to be here Saturday night. So Saturday night to, to Monday. <laughs> we'll eat when you guys, when people get here. It's, that's how formal I am here. Okay. It's just super, super formal. Hey, it's Rob. Hi, so Dave. Hi, Romero. It, so tux or a white tux? Um, I think we're doing half and half, top and bottom. Okay. <laughs> One half, one half. Not left and right? No, not this time. Not this time, no. Or maybe upper, upper right is one color <laughs> and lower I, I left I will be matches. here with the camera to take a picture of you, Leonard. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> We're having a, so you're getting ready to go to board meeting. I'm yeah. dying to hear what happens. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell me what happens when you're done, but I'm dying to hear what happens. Susan, yes. um, I have a question for my mom. For your she mom? Trying, yes, she is trying to photograph jewelry that she, glass jewelry, but she's trying to get the sparkle to come mm -hmm. to show when she photographs it. Do you know how to do that? I would probably take the item, photograph it, and then put it into a program that adds a sparkle to it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were thinking. She was thinking, but she, we can't afford Photoshop. And no, no, we, just use, you use, there's all kinds paint. of free stuff that'll do. Yeah, it. we tried, mom tried GIMP, but she couldn't figure that out. Oh, oh, you try paint. Hard. And you I could also just, you can buy a cheap filter that you can plat, you can put on the end of the lens that makes all the. Well, I would do it after the fact, or. You can do it that way. And you can also make something yourself, just put a little piece of cardboard with a hole in it over it, and you can get a shape to appear. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get a specific shape. We're yeah, but if you to, want to make like a diamond shape, like look like a diamond or something, no, 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 uh, like a spark. I, she's got 
lot, her fine, her nicest jewelry is di, is dichroic glass. And if you know dichroic glass, it's really it's that real sharp. It's the more expensive, shiny, sparkly stuff that as you 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 change you move it around, the color changes. Right. And the trouble so is, we have not been up to the side. Bright lights is really difficult because then they reflect on the stuff. So it's just off to so the side. difficult. Bright light off to the side. Well, that was play around with it. Yeah. Until it's we've, we've, yeah, we've tried that because it's just it's just a problem because we've had people say, wow, it doesn't it looks so much nicer in when you see it in person than the than we've been able to do with the pictures. So that was make, the make a video. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Try a video. Rotate it, be better it with than a, a light photo. source on the side and, and use make a and video. And if you make a video, another thing you could do is you could take stills from the video. You can turn a video into a. Um, uh, a GIF file that moves. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a great oh, idea. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I think. See, I tell you, this group you is a so GIF? smart. I think you mean a GIF file. A GIF, a GIF. Yeah, a GIF. GIF. Only if, yeah. only GIF, if you GIF. want to mispronounce it. They say, they say GIF. Yeah. GIF is. I'm from the East Coast. Better. We say GIF. It is GIF. GIF. No, 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 no. We, we recall. We recall it. Pronounce it GIF because GIF is a peanut butter. Yeah. So it has to be GIF. Okay, and and we know that, that all pronunciation rules are completely uniform. Well, yes. it's all focused on. Well, that's what we're that's what we're working it for. <laughs> that's so funny. You guys are funny. Yeah, do you know how to pronounce M A C D O N A L D? Wait, wait. Let me write it down so I can see. M A C McDonald or McDonald O N A L D McDonald. Yeah, McDonald. Then how about M A C? H I N E. Machine. Thank you. That's Some people old. will say Mac Hind after you said. What? Yeah, you did like two of them. Yeah, that's an old one. You know uh, how to pronounce G H O T I? Name the top 10 themes that oh, match. G H O T I? No, I don't. Yeah. One through four. That's hey. fish. The match rounds one through four. In diapers when they told me that one. <laughs> hey, hey, Rob. Have I not seen you for like two weeks? Is that is that my recollection? Yeah, Rob was, like was it here last week? Oh, no, just last just last week, I think. Yeah. No. No, you weren't there. I think yeah, I he ran week. it two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah he was here. Yeah, two that's weeks the last time I saw him. Yeah. Oh, right. Been, yeah. For a year and a half, I've averaged seeing Robert at least two times a week on the various meetups and things that we do sometimes three times a week that is so true went, yeah, the last time i went to florida a year just almost a year ago i actually did play trivia yeah. but i didn't have a chance to it do was it. just weird it was i was going into rob withdrawal or something <laughs> <laughs> well I, you can I, always watch the videos over that, and over yeah. again yeah, yeah it's right, weird that, rob when you that bad yeah. off. Just, <laughs> rob when you record i just them. distracted myself with non-rob content <laughs> Oh, the Amber Heard thing wise. will do it. But when Rob is recording, the I, I I have no idea why, but it's always speaker view and it doesn't go into the rooms with, like I do when I go. It's just huh. a strange way it records. And because then I, Rob is a rebel. Well, no, he's not doing anything. <laughs> I, I, I'm i wondering if, uh, I assume you record to your PC and not the cloud. Is that true? I, I record to my PC. Yeah, so that might be the difference because I record it because I don't want to worry about having to get it to you. So I record it to the cloud so you can grab it easily. That might be the difference. Well, I, I tried uploading May 5th and then it came back down and said that there was an error. And I was like, what? So I'll have to try to find Oh, I, I did watch the uh, the little piece that you did of Adrian uh, reading the Deepak Chopra stuff. That was cute. <laughs> yeah, I have a video of Adrian. Um, I was almost asleep. I should try to find that and show you guys. Um, it was... Oh, oh my God, guys. Okay, so we're recording this, so, so well, uh, she'll never watch this. Oh, my God. Well, first right. off, on the, on the field of skepticism on this holiday. So we had uh, the, the, the son of the person who got married, which is my cousin's wife. Is he a psychic? He, he believes every paranormal conspiratorial thing, except maybe flat earth, as does his, girl, his living girlfriend. Uh, and I knew this before. But this was quite interesting. So I had a polite conversation with him or whatever. And then for the first time I can remember, I saw his brother was there who I've seen, I haven't probably seen him in 10 years. So you know, he's 25, 26 or something. He is a skeptic. 
He's an atheist and a skeptic. And he's like the opposite of his brother. And then they have polite conversations, but it was, it was, it was quite fascinating. I told him, I told him that I write for skeptical who I said, oh my God, you're a god to me. <laughs> <laughs> Are they close in age? Oh uh, yeah, like two years apart. Yeah, it's amazing how people in the same family, in the same environment, raised right, can just be totally different. It's you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that was the first thing. The second thing was, uh, so my wife's sister joined us, and, and she stayed at our place. We rented a house, and she stayed with us for most of the time. She was also with a friend the first few days. We're just having some conversation, and she said something that struck me as odd. And I said, oh, that's like, you can't really prove that that's true. That's just somebody's opinion. He goes, well, come on. Sometimes people are just right. Like I know some people don't believe in homeopathy. <laughs> I screamed at her. <laughs> My wife was not happy with me. Oh, Rob. <laughs> oh, I, I love hanging through. You're using, you're defending your beliefs by saying people believe in homeopathy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I went to the pharmacy to to get a prescription and the girls in the pharmacy, there's like three or four of them joking. And one of them said, well, I'm just going to have to use the homeopathy method. And I was like, wait a minute, are what? they joking? This was pharmacist talking to another pharmacist or Ooh. assistant. And I didn't know what to say. I just heard it. And I, I, I really wanted to scream. Are you filling my prescription or are you making shit up? <laughs> you just said, wait, isn't this a science? Wait, 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 wait. science? Are you, uh, where am I at? <laughs> this was at a CBS. Oh, oh, when I got my, when I got my second shot, yeah, was, no, no, it was my first booster. When I got my first booster, it was at a CVS. And the, I don't know, it's a medical technician, what the woman was exactly. But she started talking about homeopathy. They sell crap there at CBS. Well, yeah, I know that. They, they sell it at every pharmacy. That. Yeah, that's true. But they have a lot of it there. They, they promote it. You know what I mean? They, they, they promote it. it. They sell it at every, sell it, promote it right. at every pharmacy. Yeah. Right. But I, so, I've been using, I've been having a, um, poison ivy. And I use a product called Technu. And it seems to work. And then the new version of it says homeopathy on it. I'm like, wait a minute. Wow. How the hell does this work? It can't. I think they're just using it as a term to advertise it because it's it's been patented. It's an oil that removes the the. Uh, so that's the, part of the pro that is part of the problem with the perception of homeopathy. You're right. They do slap that label on things which are not homeopathic. They have you know herbs and stuff in them. And yeah. Actual medicinal ingredients that aren't tested. Yeah, the stuff works. Started, the stuff um, works. I've actually been planning to start a business where I sell homeopathic water. <laughs> just add water right the bottles are really light yeah just add water, water. Just, just add, add water, water to your homeopathic water yeah that that's a plus i, I if if we weren't so ethical we'd be so 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 after after my sister-in-law made that comment i i was dying to say hey why don't you go to how does homeopathy work.org but like you know or, or send her richard a, a, a dawkins uh, you know, the video of it which is fantastic when he but no, i just i i, I restrain i restrain communication open rob and not yes, have your I, wife I, mad I, at you that's exactly right i restrained myself <laughs> i didn't say another word about it hi mike hi ben you, you want to fly <laughs> back and not have have her not speaking to you <laughs> yeah. You don't want to sleep on a couch somewhere oh uh, my goodness i tell you i you you can meet people that are just sane and 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 you think are science-based when we got our boosters booster uh you know back a month or so ago the pharmacist came out and she gave us the shot because they were so busy and she gave Mark and I the shot. And then she started talking about astrology. And she says, I bet oh, you were a, no. she said something. Yeah, she said something like, no. uh, oh, man, no. uh, Mark, she said, Mark, to Mark, what sign are you? And he says, I'm a Taurus. And she says, oh, you Tauruses. Oh, my gosh. I know so many people. Oh, no, I think he gave her his birthday for some reason. And she says, you're a Taurus. You Tauruses, you're all such a problem. Oh. I'm thinking, oh, man, lady. So, oh, she said it was all serious. Mess. I almost, I almost forgot that. That was the third incident. And this was the bride. I was sitting next to the bride the day after the wedding at the brunch. And she was describing somebody. And she says, but she's a Pisces, so you know. And I just, I just shut up. I just shut. <laughs> oh God. The the misinformation around us is so prevalent. In fact, uh, astrology has been like been coming like it's it's a huge thing apparently with Gen Z now. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it's because religion is it's, starting it's to fade. Never, so. It's never not been a huge well, thing. It's been, okay. Well, it, it's been coming back and forth. Like my generation, I don't know of anyone who like cared about anything about astrology. I but, suspect that that's going to be true of, of people you, that are likely to be uh, mathematicians. Right. <laughs> how old are you, Avi? Um, well, I, the best of the best math, 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 mathematicians mid, are, are clearly tor- Taurus. So. Okay, and see, I'm, I'm an older it. geriatric millennial, and there was a time like we got really obsessed with doing our star and birth charts. And stuff. When I was in high school, same thing. We were really. I wanted to know why I wasn't science. like all the other Capricorns, like a very hardworking to the nose grindstone why i procrastinated so much well you know i think well I think you have to really go into know. more detail than just your um your i know it just feels like it it feels yeah, like it's more prevalent we had um yeah, and i'm married to pisces and i'm not supposed to even be a match with them well that's all that's that's a really so, fishy yeah. thing <laughs> The, the thing the thing about it is is that i think part of it is that people are just wanting to find when you're a teenager, you're kind of trying to figure the world out and you're figuring yourself out and you're looking for ways to connect to other people. Well, I don't know if I, I think that's why I kind of got into it. I don't know if Abby was making a general statement because I mentioned I was sitting next to the bride and he made an assumption. She's like 68 years old. So the bride is in her 60s? Yes, yes, the second marriage. You, you can still get married then. Yes, you're allowed. Insurance, wills, things like that. It makes it so much easier. Well, I was, I don't know. I was picturing this woman who's a bride and that I just wasn't picturing it. And by the way, she's a psychotherapist. Yeah, Susan, my mom got married for the third time at like 59. I'm 59. She's been with my stepdad. Just to clarify, is she a psychotherapist or is she a therapist? Yeah, I was going to say emphasis on the the psycho, not the therapist. Oh, don't get me started on Johnny Depp. I have been binge watching it uh, for hours and hours. Oh my God. I have... my, my boss oh. is listening to it every single day. So I just go past her off. I am too. I, am too. I thought this was all over. I, I zoned out well, all the news for a week. week. But okay. It's over. Tomorrow is closing arguments that goes to the jury. And I think they're going to be gone, what, like five minutes? <laughs> What's going on? A six week trial. That, yeah. That, that's what I said. Robbins yeah. had two categories on it. She said I, two categories on, on the Johnny Depp thing. How do you think that they're going to find? Oh, uh, that uh, that Amber Heard is lost. She is so. Oh, I, I don't know about that. Eviscerate. No, I watched them eviscerate her today. And there's people sitting in the courtroom because I'm watching a channel that is like chatting about it. You know, they're lawyers. They're all lawyers. And they've got people in the courtroom watching the jury. And they're like, when Amber Heard says something, they're turning their back to her. They're rolling their eyes. They're just checked out. She Whoa. is so unpopular. The jury is so over right. her. But it's the incredible. But the jury, the question of, before the jury is not who's a worse person. The jury is specifically what she wrote in that editorial was that provably false. And that's it's a lot harder to prove something false than it is to prove that she's Not a even terrible provably person. False. Well, they've caught her. Li- she's been lying like crazy. I mean, there's obvious it lies. It doesn't matter. It, what matters is what is what she said in that editorial specifically provably not true and yes it's be- provably not true well, based on all the evidence that we've seen so far hearsay objection hey, we, one of the well, if, one of the problems with dealing with juries is you're dealing with a great unknown that's why it, lawyers will always say don't go to the box yeah you try not to because boy they criminal, are really I, I don't even civil. think you have to prove it's provably untrue you have to prove that she either knew it to not be true or had a callous disregard for the truth when she said it you're yeah. you're basing that it on could later on, turn out to be on, untrue but if she had reason to believe at the time it was true she'd be okay i had jury duty so last dealing Thursday. With, with what the law says at yeah. the end of the day it's not what the law says it's what the jury feels right and, and uh that's why i've talked to lawyers before i i uh they keep saying, well, the law says this, the law says that. No, it's the jury is the ones that are making up these decisions based on their own gut feelings. Right. And that's well, why we're it, not supposed to be talking about the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp. Yeah, nightmare. I'm on the jury. Guys, I'm on the jury for Amber Heard. And yeah. yeah, right. You would not be. You're in Fairfax, no. Virginia. I, I had jury duty one week ago. I got there and they said, good news and bad news. The bad news is we didn't, ident- we didn't tell you last night. The good news is you, you're done for the day. Done. Just like that, in and out. 
because they had a trial going. So I, I didn't need, they didn't need me. I got called the week of Thanksgiving one year and it made me very upset because they didn't have court that week. Oh, I, want I, I usually postpone it for a year. Nobody ever will let me be injury duty. I wonder why, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> well, they just don't. Every time I've had it, it's not that they've talked to me. They Every time they're like, you know, you have jury duty this week. And I'm like so excited, going to figure out what I'm going to wear. And I'm just stoked. And then they say, sorry, you're not called. And it'll be another year before you. That's because the lawyers looked you up online and saw no, the Wikipedia info. And they said, no, no, we don't want her. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I would be amazing. I had, I've done it a couple of times. It's a Terry story. I had grand jury duty. And you had to go every three weeks for six months. Oh, I would love to do that. What do you think? It was a lot of molestation with kids. It was really hard. Yeah, it was was really hard. It was very emotionally hard. The laws in every state, but Massachusetts is one trial or one day for three years. The grand jury is really different. Oh, Janine did get here. Gary, did did you sign up for it? No, I got jury duty, but it said on the paper grand jury duty. Oh, yeah, so you were assigned to it. Up. That's a year-long yeah, commitment. Assigned. And you showed up, oh. and they Makes needed months. 16 people, and I was number 13. And um, they sent everyone else home. They didn't ask questions. Some lady had papers to excuse her because she had a, a special needs child. They didn't even care. They were like, that's it. We're starting today. Sit down. And we, <gasps> and we started. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was really hard. Wow, we had we have in? A, in California. Illinois. I think you have to sign up for it. Like you say, no. I'd like to be on a ju- grand jury. Um, I don't know if anyone's heard of the Maya Rudolph, or yeah. what's yeah, what's the name? The guy they found him after like forty years and oh, put him on trial, oh. and he got off. He um, was guilty. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, it's a local. It's a local story. Yeah, that goes but back they to found him after like 50s. forty years. Maria, they found Maria him. Rudolph. Maria, Maria Rudolph. Yeah, and yeah they tried yeah, to look at, yeah, Maria him. Rudolph. Uh, Sycamore. Look up Sycamore, Illinois. Yeah, it's a famous case. There was a the police department building was the Maria Rudolph Memorial Police Department building. But yeah, we heard we heard it. It was. Um, I think I was two at the oh, time. Oh, she was abducted. Were... Somebody was abducted. Yeah. yeah. He oh, killed her. Yeah. he killed her. Yeah. And well, I will read that gone. later. That looks awful. You know what they were saying yeah. in um, this uh, <laughs> this feed that I'm watching of all these lawyers? They've been talking about how you know people were saying, you know, I might like to go into law. What would I? You know, how do I decide and stuff? And they were saying, if you get into family law, you're you're just dealing just dysfunctional people, child molestations, you know, just child, just all this, all this awful parts of law. And then she said that um, you got to be willing to give up all your your holidays because that's where the parents are fighting over the kids for visitation rights and stuff like that. And so you have to do. You know, you can't necessarily go out of town during the holidays. It just didn't sound. Uh, my, my sister's husband went to law school, passed the bar, became a corporate lawyer, and he found it so distasteful or boring or whatever that he quit, went to something totally different. It's like, yeah, he spent all that they time said, and money. Well, they, one of the guys cool. suggested that he, he's from Canada, he's from Calgary, where Adrian is. And he said, when you're trying to decide what kind of things you like, he says, take the Constitution, the, con- the Canadian Constitution, and read it. If you can get all the way through it and you understood it and enjoyed it, well, then that's a part of the law you probably want to get into. But if you can't get through it or can't understand it or, or grasp it, then it's probably not, maybe law isn't your forte. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Robin's in family law, but she hasn't done it in a while. And I think Peggy is too. So we can ask them when they finally get here. Janine's husband has decided he wanted to tear the network apart. <laughs> Right, Janine? Well, he's trying to hook up a monitor and he chose a really bad time. This is Thursday. <laughs> Nothing is supposed to happen near this time on I, Thursday. The moratorium on he, Thursday night. He waited until 545 and started dragging stuff out. Well, at least he's active. 
exactly. But he has no idea how to get it hooked back up. So, so we'll see. I'm out on the deck on my phone. I, thought I heard chickens. No, they're birds. Oh, Mark they're was here a minute birds. ago. Where'd Mark go? <laughs> they're birds, and I'm shooting starlings. Did you say you're shooting starlings? Yeah. With the yes. camera, like click, click, no. or bang, bang. No, with my day, my pink Daisy BB gun. Oh dear! Because <laughs> they get into the food, I think, right? They harass and go after native birds. You're a badass. Oh man, you don't mess with Janine Nanoma. That woman, she's had a she had a raccoon that she carried around with her. <laughs> I loved her that would sit on her bed and open up her eye to see if she was awake. Oh, man. I've seen pictures of it. When they say there's something like 2.5 guns for every American, are they counting your gun in there? <laughs> well, uh, in I my house, that's for sure. We have, we have a lot more than 2.5. It's, that, there's a, my, no, it's not nowhere near that much. It's The counts show about 300 million firearms. You guys got to come out to Oregon my, in August. My husband's a competitive shooter, was a competitive shooter. No, he, he's election. taking out a rat he saw somewhere, wasn't he? Weren't you guys in the house somewhere? He, he out a gun shot, shot a rat it? under the dining room table. <laughs> this, is, this, is like, uh, this is like the Wild West over at Janine's place. <laughs> You need to take go to Susan's and take care of that raccoon problem. <laughs> I don't have raccoons. Oh, yeah, but I take lady. raccoons home with me. <laughs> I don't That'll solve your problem, oh, too. Kelly Burke's here. Either way, problem oh. solved. A pink BB gun counts as the point five. Yeah, I, I, I'm Look looking it. for my... Well, we can say happy birthday. My Kelly. Science sticker to put on it. Yeah, yeah. Kelly's birthday cool. today. And and school's uh, over for too, her. Kelly. And so oh, is it Arfi. Is she here? Well, yeah, my she birthday just is a couple days. What else Happy is she birthday, do birthday too, Kelly? We to well, trivia. we gotta wait Hi, to do Kelly. that. Kelly, Happy look, you're birthday. out of you're out of school. How you feeling? You're muted. You're you're muted. You're muted. But you had a lovely funny. space background. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly. Yeah, the blur was too boring, so I had to switch to my space one. But I have better ones. So tell us about schools over and. Yeah, I mean, I still have like the, the school that I work at until June 14th, yeah. but I don't have grad school right now. So I figured I can do trivia. Yay. Have... So how is, uh, it, uh, how is it to work with Ben? I would love to take a class from him. It was great. He's yeah. He gave a lot of great feedback and stuff. It's it it's was your book. the class is all online, so I didn't get. A ton of interaction with him but it was cool this is ben radford yeah, yeah yeah he's teaching her class america the fearful i cannot i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna sit down and read the damn thing as soon as i can i'm really excited so about are, are you busy yet kelly with sgu stuff i am i started on last monday so oh. everything that's been posted since last tuesday has been me wait you're you're working for the sgu now Yes. Um, so I just started on Monday. I'm doing, I'm like managing their social media accounts. Wow. So which accounts? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I've heard of those. Yeah. So um, she's going to be the insider. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Good morning. How are you guys? <laughs> it's not morning for me. <laughs> it's morning for you. We're, we're on the correct background. side Boy, of the world where it's not morning. Having. <laughs> is yeah. gail gonna join us i don't know i have no idea she's about ten thousand miles away we would know before she would huh you yeah, would I know so uh-huh i'm so <laughs> right back popcorn deborah's <laughs> joining us she's connecting to audio caspian's here apparently hiding oh, from right back. i'm making notes All right, what time is it? Oh, we should get started. Yeah, 6.40. Oh my goodness, I just got so excited to see people that I, I lost my train of thought. We'll be joined by other people here soon. Your thoughts got derailed? So Kevin's in charge of the whole thing, so. 
Let's four it's surprise the, categories. It's the Kevin categories. show. Four it's mystery Kevin categories. All day, all and, way. And, Kevin, and, Kevin, and Kevin. One bonus round. So I, it doesn't matter how I put these on here. Oh, that means I can go into a room. Yes, you do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. So, How am I going to So you choose? should pick the teams and then somebody else should randomly shuffle them. <laughs> That's How true. would they know which one to put me in? Somebody randomly. Just but leave yourself one, off a team two, and, three, and uh, let the other person two, pick it up between four, one and five or something. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, one and four. We have we got enough players for five teams. Yeah, we'll have five teams. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But you should not put yourself on a team and have Richard right. roll a dice. Well, there's one room that and he's not here. Hand. We have to wait till he gets here. Richard's is not here, and there's we have to call him in Australia and have him roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> but that wouldn't be fair because there's 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 you'll be, five, you'll get people, a six. five people, you'll five get a people, six five people, five people, four people. So you'll roll a six. I need to go into the no, it's four, four, four. One, two, and then you'll roll another six and another but six. There'll and be more people trouble. coming, right? Um, yeah. Susan, I don't know if this affects things, but I'm probably not going to last the whole time because I do still need to be up at six for work. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Avi leaves a little early too, so I want to make sure you're not on the same team as him. And yeah, this is a good mix you're on. That'll be great. Avi's going to leave early? Um, wow. surprised. Yeah, That's why part. would he? I don't know why he would. The bonus um, round is all about math. He's so. Moved closer. Here comes Karen. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'll put her over here. Kelly, round five is going to be about um, math. So, hey. are you the only other employee of the SU other than Jay? And Ian. Oh, wait. Oh, and Ian, right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's really sad. Are you going to show just, up on some live streams? I, I don't know. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> um, but I had. <laughs> just kind of sent my resume to Jay back in like February and was like, Hey, if you ever need any like part-time help, I'm finishing up this degree and I would love to work for you guys. Um, and then I met them at the New York show. And then a little while after that, they contacted me and said, Hey, we are actually looking for somebody because we have more stuff than we have time. So yeah, it's really cool. Perfect. Good for you. That's a I, good way. I to assume do it. Jay was doing it before. Is that true? Yes. So Kevin, you're not allowed to go into any of the rooms. Why not? Because, um, well, you're not allowed to go into the rooms for the name making. Because oh, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Because that's how it. Well, it okay. wouldn't hurt. I wouldn't say a word, but it, I'm not gonna. It's just fun to come back and not know what they are. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so come back in here. Come back I'm quickly. <laughs> You Hello. guys got me. All right. And I've got a team name in mind. What is it? So Australia just had its election uh -huh. and it's election season in the US. So I would like to suggest there are too many sausages in democracy, Mr. President. You, you could, uh, you know that one of my team members wrote the Wikipedia page for sausages and Australian sausage. Uh, what's it called? Sausage what? Democracy sausage. So, yeah, you might explain it. Maybe Carrie and James don't know what you're talking about, but I have a lot of Australians that are in my GSOW project, so I know what you're talking about, believe it or not. In Australia, you are required to vote. It is law. Um, and in many places at the polling place, you can purchase what they call a democracy sausage, which is essentially sausage and bread and nothing particularly special, but it's it's a it's a thing where it's like a fundraiser. Here I'll put it in here. I think we wrote this Wikipedia page or rewrote it or something like that, but it's a um oh shoot, my chat went away. How interesting. Exit full screen. Okay, there it goes. It's funny how that works. It's um it's a thing. I don't. I don't care. I'm fine. Whatever you say. I don't. I'm. I like it. I'm not a volunteer. I mean, I'm. I'm part of the team now. I will be here this whole game, but I won't. I like I it. Okay. She cool. says so. 
I know you've been thinking about that for a while, so. Yep. How's everybody doing? Good. Except for the the fire the um, carrying your uh, um, problem with the uh, thunder and lightning. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's over. I think it's over now. Oh, did I assign Karen to someplace? Uh oh. Oh, I put her in a room I wasn't. Okay, I'll have better. I'm writing this down. Okay, so it's Ben, Jane, and Mike. And then there's Avi, Faith, Karen. Rob. This week, five bosses and their infinite wisdom decided to put a malevolent moron in charge of our company. Oh, so yeah, you said they got sold. They got sold and they promoted somebody who has no idea what she is doing and is an extremely toxic person and a massive security risk in charge. So, mm. oh, fun. As I had a man security risk. Our product was acquired illegally by the Chinese government several years ago because they got a virus on her computer and she decided it wasn't a big deal and didn't need to be reported. Mm. He, and, and what Caspian's company does is very not okay to be purchased by the Chinese government, right? Is that fair to say? Our product is export controlled <laughs> shall we say so yeah great week okay i'm trying to get myself organized here hold on a second Where am I? Now where did the screen go? Oh, I don't want that. I've got so many screens open I, for a Thursday. I was quite busy doing stuff that. Okay, take that off. I'm gonna close all these darn screens. Okay, Zoom. Is that Zoom screen? Okay, so we should be coming back. Sounds good. Get ready in one minute. Is that what it says? We could go back. That's oh, fun. yeah. Okay. okay. See you guys. Yay. Bonus points to the first team back. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I can't hear whoever's talking. Okay. Oh. That was me. It's, we're back because Caspian had a, had been thinking of the team name in advance. Excellent. He, Excellent doing your homework, Caspian. Your mother will be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell your mother that she did a good job. You, you did your homework. My <laughs> wife was very proud of my boys for doing their homework. I think that I, Caspian thinks about these games, these team names. Everybody does. Every time I've been around anybody, like Deborah or or Adrian or Faith or Romero or whoever who plays, and I have seen them in real life. They all say, "Ooh, future team name! Oh, that sounds really good. That's a great category." I think of it when the news is on. I see the news stories and think, "Oh, maybe I'll do something with that." And then when I get into it, I usually forget. And then sometimes I'll come up with. I've named a few teams, but um, actually, sometimes yeah. ideas to myself. So I have a string of- That's ideas. a good idea. Unfortunately, I also dropped my phone. And <laughs> despite being in a heavy duty protector with a screen protector, it hit the exact millimeter spot that wasn't protected. So I had to go. Oh. Let me go into the other room and see where Mark is. He was here a few minutes ago and now he's gone. So now I don't think I have that text string anymore. Come on. 
my favorite team name was uh, might as well face it. We're addicted to Rob when Rob did it. <laughs> And the, my favorite one of all, what somebody else did one, it was, hey, Alexa, buy 10,000 pounds of potato salad. And every time she said it, people say, no, Alexa, no. It was kind of funny. <laughs> my favorite was, our team name was Cooper's Crew, and it, got, he, it was my dog. My dog got the team name. Nice. They wanted to do something about masks and I wasn't wearing a mask at work. So they were like, oh, okay, sorry, never mind." And I was like, oops. I'm looking at Bob's chair and it makes me think of who was that character? It was a sitcom. Uh, I don't know if he was a, an alien or uh, he had a uh, like a long nose uh, elf or something like that. Yeah, elf, elf, oh. yeah. So when, when, uh, when Bob wasn't sitting in the chair, Bob, stand up for a second. <laughs> That's an elf chair. It, 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 yeah, it, 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 take a look at the chair. Does that not? Yeah, Alf's nose looked like that. He had yeah. The oh, well, now you can't well, tell here, but you know, you can see his nose looked like that with the glasses. You know, and he had glass. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yep. That, it does yeah. look like Alf. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Bob. You can you can sit. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll go through the old shows I remember and try to watch one that I thought was a favorite. I had one favorite episode of uh, Alf when he uh, acted like David Letterman, like he was on the, he was taking David Letterman's place. It was kind of funny. It's yeah. the only one I really thought was watchable. And I didn't like the show in general. Mm. Too corny like and silly. You, I just liked how you always tried to eat the cat. Yeah, it so, yeah. It was, so bad was, like a, was a kid. It was on for like three or four years or something and it ended kind of weirdly. They never finished off. He was supposed to go home or something. What show, think, Kevin? Alf. I, I was just going to say, I think we're talking about Alf when I heard. Yeah, that just from that cat. short description, it was it was Alf. <laughs> I know. Never, and, I've never seen an episode, but I knew you were talking about Alf. It, yeah. it, it came Sorry. up because when Bob was standing up, uh, his chair looked like Alf. That's all. <laughs> have you are, nice. have you are you sitting on Alf? Not Apparently, not. <laughs> he killed him. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> looks a little like Snuffleupagus too. Yeah, that, that, that I was gonna say it looks like that to me. That's the case of Alphadolia. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I think the writer of Alf admitted he was totally on cocaine that whole time. <laughs> surprise. That makes a lot of sense. Who said, "Look, I was totally coked out." That's funny. <laughs> These chairs, we had two of these. And they were upstairs, and I, I was I, for until recently, I used this old rocker that the neighbors gave me, and it was just getting too rickety, and it was all moldy and gross. And an old, old rocker was it, Mick Jagger? Hmm? Yeah, was the old rocker, Mick Jagger. But um, yeah, I okay, laughed, Carl. I laughed. Why not? <laughs> I didn't because um, you just ruined a trivia question. <laughs> the, the neighbors, the neighbors gave me the chair, and right after I got it, I found this down the side of it. Where did it go? We can't. And hear. it's it's uh, it's homeopathic pills is what it is. <laughs> what is it with homeopathy uh, today? Or like 
a Everyone. tooth pain or something like that. It was down. It was stuck down the side of the chair. And I, uh, okay, everybody. Well, if you get thirsty, you can drink it because it's just water. Are we back? In that case. All right. So it's going to be Kevin is going to be running the whole game today. Uh, we're going to have a few more people who are going to drop in in a little bit. Adrian's <laughs> watching the hockey game, and she's she's making dinner, so she's going to try to pop in around nine, which would be about eight my time. So oh, by the way, that's hour. where that's where my brother is. He's watching the watching hockey a hockey game. game. Oh my goodness, Mark! Well, hey, I'm watching it and here. I'm doing both. So I'm here comes Janine again. So am I. Oh, is Mark playing? Who He's are they right rooting there. for, Alan? I see Mark. Game. Mark Square. You see the square, but you. Yeah, and and then um, Wendy says she's got a migraine. She can't play. She's just got a migraine. She's not feeling good. But um, Peggy and Robin will be here later. Well, at least I know Peggy will be. And it's going to be all time Kevin today. And you've got your powers. Ready to all go, Kevin? All the so time. It's all Kevin all the time. So we need a newer group name. So let's start off. Oh, do the names. names. Yeah, that's and right. And Kelly's here. Yeah. And Kelly Burke is here. She says she probably won't make it the whole time, but that'll be great. The last time I saw Kelly was at Ford's Theater. No, actually, First the last time girl. I saw her was at my yeah. talk in um, Washington D.C. area. But we, Kelly and I and Adrian, went to go see a play at Ford's Theater. Isn't that exciting? We got to yeah. see. And then, and we were taking a selfie, and some guy came over and photobombed us. And he said, "Can I be in your photo?" And we're like, "Sure." We took his picture. He goes, "I'm the director and writer of the play, <laughs> like composer." Oh. And <laughs> oh, okay, just that. Okay, we should have got him to sign the program while we were no, there. Not that I know of. So, game number one hundred and eight, season two, episode fifty-one. We are starting out today with. Um, the last time we will ever play on uh, game 108. So we have today, Alan, Bob, Janine, and Carl are going to be on a team named, calling themselves. Keep your thoughts and prayers. We got Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. The rest of the teams need thoughts and prayers. Oh, okay. I, I thought Carl was supposed to be on a team by himself. We're going to do that eventually. We'll, we'll Nobody that. needs they're, they're, they're not superstitious. Well, then he'll just team. show us up worse. We're all going to be more Carl's embarrassing. Are be something just, that Carl can't just two teams. Carl's on one. Everyone else is on another one. <laughs> yeah, Carl, right. No, we would just talk each other out of the questions. <laughs> That's right. That's that. exactly right. Hi, Karen. Exactly right. So oh, yeah, team number two. Hi, is Ben, Jane, Mike, and Mark, who doesn't know he's on that team yet. Oh, I was going to say, all right, we get someone else. Yay. Uh, we are Stranger New World Things. There you go, Mark. That's your new team. <laughs> Stranger New World Things, because there is a new Stranger Things coming out. Right. It's out right and, now, right? And Strange New Worlds just started, so we're the Stranger New World Things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Avi, Faith, Romero, Karen, and Rob. Oh, we're let, let Avi do it since he's practicing his German. We're Avi Derzane. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really clever. That's Have you been delicate. thinking about that for the next few weeks, last few weeks? No, I haven't. <laughs> Okay, put it in the chat so I know how you spell. In other yeah, words, yeah. Avidas, Avidas, Avidas. What is that? <laughs> how do you say Avidazane? Yeah, you just said it. But it's Avi is Avidazane. Avida Zane. Avida Zane. <laughs> Deborah, Jamie, Kelly, and Leonard. I'm putting it in the chat. Is that what it's called? I'm putting it in the chat? Yes. Mm -hmm. so what a great team name. No. What a no. great team name. No. You can't hear the growls? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> You'll be hearing groans when you figure out the categories. Oh. Oh, I just did it. I get it. <laughs> I get it now. Okay, Caspian is oh Caspian, Susan, James, and Carrick. There Caspian. are too many sausages in democracy, Mr. President. <laughs> and you guys could here's here's the Wikipedia page that to explain what he's talking about, and he can tell you more. Tell you, Cass. Australian democracy sausage. It's a thing. It's a fundraiser. Apparently, you can't go vote without having your democracy sausage, because there's always democracy sausages outside of, of the voting places, and you have to vote in, in Australia. By law, you're required to vote. 
But, what if but you're a you vegetarian, wanna, though? But you don't want to see it made. That's yeah. the thing. That is true. I guess this is how it's thing. So <clears throat> Max is going to be on the on the team with um, keep your thoughts and prayers. We have Carl. I'm going to start writing Max in. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Game number 108, season two, episode 51. Today is May 26, 2022, which is the day after Tal Day. Tal Day. <laughs> I yeah. know where my towel was all day yesterday. Don't panic. Don't oh, panic. I, yeah. Okay. So okay. are you guys ready to play? It is, oh, it's Keep Your Thoughts and Prayers. We have Carl versus Stranger New World Things versus Avider Zwein versus You Can't Hear the Growls versus There Are Too Many Sausages in Democracy, Mr. President. I swear by, I write a book on just my son is stationed at Osan Air Force Base and the president was there. So we got a Facebook message. I just saw the president. And of course, when he said that, all his local friends, well, did you boo him? Did you do that? All the hatred came out from his oh local friends who don't like the president. <laughs> Ridiculous bunch of children. Anyway, no, me and my wife are very proud of him. He was at, you oh, know, right. he was there and the president was there and it was pretty cool. No, I said, funny. try and get a picture, but he didn't. They said no pictures. Oh, picture didn't happen, but I guess there's probably an official picture somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, well, he's not with the president. It was just a whole bunch of people and the president arrived and, you know, at the Air Force Base where he's at. <laughs> anyway, on yeah. with the show. On with the show. I'm excited. All right. Round one. Answer the questions, fill in the blanks, uncover the theme. That's going to be round two, three, and four. Oh. Already. Okay, so the first question. Linda Lavin, Vic Tabak, Philip McKeon, Polly Holiday, and Beth Howland are cast members of what? Did someone mute everybody? Oh, no. Guess Who's not. the mutant? Are we in game 108? <laughs> yep. There's no question number 107. What did I do? I was in charge of that. Question number two. Three. Blank. Is slang for a member of London's Metropolitan police derived from the surname from the name of sir robert peel who established the force in 1829 police offices in london are also known as peelers for the very same reason you fill in the blank number three is also a fill in the blank it's a person's name i've given you the middle name because <coughs> no one really knows it but you don't need to know, know the middle name i just gave it to you in case you happen to be a hint blank Creighton Blank, born April 26, 1933, is an American actress, comedian, singer, and writer. She is best known for her groundbreaking comedy variety show, which originally aired on CBS. It was one of the first of its kind to be hosted by a woman. Question number four. What was the little girl's name in How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Question number five. Who played? Uh oh, I just double pumped it. Ah, just overwrote my other question. Oh, there it is. Okay. Who played Billy Joe McKay, a truck driver whose best friend was a chimpanzee? Melora Hardin is an American actress and singer known for her role as Blank Levison on NBC's The Office. Question number seven. Blank Francine Blank is an American actress and comedian best known for her 1986 to 1992 role of Roz Russell on Night Court. Number eight, who played the part of Mr. Campbell on cable TV 10 from Aurora, Illinois? And um, number nine, 
who played in all these movies? Lolita, Dr. Strangelove, What's New Pussycat, Casino Royale, The Party, and Being There. Question 10. Name the musical based on a Charles Dickens novel that won six Academy Awards, including Best Picture in 1969. And the bonus question, Wooly Bully was a number two hit in 1965 for who? Any questions you shouldn't have? The theme is pretty easy once you figure it out. You should get the other answers. I'm expecting nines and tens. <laughs> oh, no pressure or anything, huh? Okay. Okay. Go to your rooms. All right. Let me do it. <laughs> Mark is going to go into room two. And Janine is now in room. I'm in room one. Yeah. And I'm in room five. See ya. I don't fit that. I know one of these. You know two. I hope it's different than one. <laughs> Well, let's go. Team. Let's go one by one, and then we'll see see how that. Okay, works let me out. think about these questions. I haven't even really thought about them. Before. Okay. Number one is Alice's restaurant. Number two is a Bobby. Yeah, I knew that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's one. Number three is Carol Burnett. Oh, I love Carol Burnett. Number four, I don't know. Cindy Lou Who. Oh, awesome. Never would have got that. And that ruins the pattern. Oh, it does? Yes. OK, so number one is the cast members of what? What did you Alice's say? Alice's Restaurant. OK, number two is a Bobby. Yeah. Number three is Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett. Cindy Lou Who. Okay, who Number played Billy Billy Joe McKay, truck driver who's best? Clint friend? Eastwood. That's right. What, what was that? that? Huh? What what was that from? It was um, um what was the name don't remember the movie name. Um uh, but I, 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 he, I don't even remember seeing where he would say bright turn and his chimpanzee would punch uh, a biker out. Wow. Uh, uh, I never saw a movie other than that one scene. What was that show? I don't remember. Okay. Uh -huh. Number six. I didn't see The Office. Me neither. The only character I can think of is Angela. I know is a character, so that's a guess. If we get, yeah, maybe when we know the rest Angela. of the thing. I've seen The Office, but I can. I'm trying to think of girls' names. I just so rewatched some of the Night Court, and I don't remember the actresses' names. I never seem to know. Um, Marky Post. That's her name. Marky? That was a blonde woman. I don't know the black oh. lady. Yeah, Roz was black. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Roz Russell. Yeah. Okay. I like so that's not her. I was like eight when I watched that. <laughs> I had a cool dad. Aw. Um, Number nine is Peter Sellers. Yeah. yeah. That's the only one I really knew. Mm -hmm. Number eight, no clue. No. Name the musical based on Charles Dickens. Uh, Oliver. Number ten is Oliver. Oh, that's right. <sighs> yes. And Oliver was the first novel to address domestic violence, and it was featured in the movie prominently. Really. Mm-hmm. And that song, As Long As He Needs Me, is uh, that's exactly what domestic violence victims think. 
I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I've not seen it, so I, I don't know. So do we see a theme? They're all alphabetized, apparently. Gotta be like a TV show, and these are all the characters on the TV show, because that's usually what it is. It's like a TV show or a movie, and these are oh, the first names. Like somebody of the named group. Alice and Bobby. And <laughs> Alice, Alice, Peter, Peter. Oliver. Carol, Oliver. Cindy. The Brady Bunch. Clint. I don't. That's the only character from the Brady Bunch I know. Cindy. Carol. Bobby. And Alice, you're right. It's, Alice, the Brady Bunch. it's the Brady Bunch. Right. Haven't we had the Brady Bunch as one of his mystery categories before? Or we've had a yeah. category on the Brady Bunch. Okay, so. Who are we missing? Okay, so Bobby. Six. Peter. What's Marsha? Marsha. It might be Night Court. <clears throat> Marsha. Okay, Brady Bunch had, I don't remember a Clint. Do you guys remember a Clint? Mm -mm, no. I don't know if there was an Angela. So Angela might be wrong. Okay, so Bobby. Where's Angela? Which one is that? She was thinking that was of number six. Six. I think that might be wrong now. Okay, who is on the okay? So we've got Alice is the housekeeper. Yeah. And the husband's name is what? And the wife's name is Car Carol Brady. Mike and Carol Brady, right? Mike. Mike. Okay, so we don't we have a mic on here. So we need a mic. Mike, and we need we need a Marsha. Mike and, and the boys, okay, so the girls are Cindy, Marsha, and Jan. Jan. What? Jan. Oh, Jan. So we needed Jan. So the angel's definitely wrong. Okay, so the boys, there are, what are their names? Uh, Peter, Bobby. Peter. So we, oh, we got a Peter, we got a Bobby. What's the other one's name? This is how long it's been since I've heard the March of Pretty Bench. Peter and Bobby. Hmm. it's the older one right no peter's the oldest bobby's the youngest so it's the middle kid we're forgetting so of course we're not going to remember it's the middle kid yeah poor just middle kid they never count just kidding um i'm a middle kid um, <laughs> <laughs> i'm a baby uh who was uh that the butcher that Alice was always in at the hots for. Sam? Sam, Sam. sounds right. That's a butcher's so, name. Okay, so what was... So we're, we've got Mike, Marsha, Jan, and Sam that are possible names. Okay, so the office. It'd be a girl. Is there a Jan on the office or a Marsha on the office? Hmm. And then what was what was question eight again? Eight was uh, who played the part of Mr. Campbell on Chat Cable Ten from Aurora, Illinois. Don't know, never even heard of that. So that could be Mike something. Mm So then I'm wondering about Clint Eastwood. But I think it was Clint Eastwood. Huh? I'm pretty sure it is. I think that is right. It yeah, might have but... been a Clint. Maybe that's the butcher's name. I think it was Sam. Yeah, but I, I'm almost positive it's somebody that... Um... The truck driver whose best friend was a chimpanzee was Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was, that's very definitely true, unless there's another one that. Like an obscure character that was named Clint. Mm -hmm. Let me think.
Uh, so, so uh, number uh, six, I sus suspect, is Jan. Yeah, that makes sense. I would, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, it is the first name, and that's the only name we need is Jan, mm. so that might make sense. And then Roz. I used to know Roz's name because I used to memorize the... <laughs> when I watched a TV show, I'd always look at the names and like almost memorize them. You knew someday you would be playing some trivia game somewhere right. with some people mm -hmm. who needed to know this kind of stuff, didn't you? I love learning that, like my dad's real big on knowing the actors' names. So like I grew up knowing the actors' names. I was the opposite. <laughs> um, no, we, if we watched a movie, we always stayed to every minute of the credits. Like everybody would get up and leave and our entire family would sit there and watch the entire credits to be insisted. Caspian, um, see how I didn't make you do that. What? <laughs> I didn't make you do that. I almost feel like you do like that Roz, for Ferris Bueller's day off. I never it paid saw off. That. It I paid feel off. like Roz he comes out at the end goes, seven. You're still here. What are you still doing here? Go home. At the end of the credits. Yeah. I've never seen oh, that. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, there's always it. stuff at the end of the credits after a while, like in the Sometimes, 90s. Yeah, they well, do. I'm doing it now. Yeah, there's Ferris Bueller something. did it. He said, uh, You're still here. Go home. <laughs> I love that. And no one saw it except me and my dad. Yeah, very few people. Um, I saw it, but very few people saw it. Yeah. Okay, I think Roz could be Marsha something. I feel like Roz on seven is Marsha something. Marsha Francine. Feel it. I don't know. That just sounds right. I don't know. Okay, do we have somebody from Mike? I don't know what Cable 10 from Aurora, I don't know what that is. Is that yeah, a it show called like Cable Wayne's 10? World. It sounds like Wayne's World. Wayne Campbell. Yeah, it's Wayne's World. So Mike Myers? Yeah. Oh, come on. I came up with that? How? Yeah. My if we were recording this, I wouldn't believe I just came up with that. Yeah, I thought it was Wayne's World when he said the question, and then I was too quiet. Oh, okay. Um, wh what is this? Wooly, Wally Bully. Wooly Bully was a number two hit in 1964 to who? Oh, I remember that song. Wooly Bully. It's yeah, popular. So Wooly popular. Bully. <laughs> Wooly <laughs> Bully. Wooly. I think that's the only words. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? We're still missing one of the sons, the middle son. I thought that his name is Mike or Mike. Oh, I was... thought there was the, the husband. The husband. Oh, the husband's Mike. Okay. Did, so. did, did one of the sons be Clint? No, they didn't um, have any normal, any weird names like that. Bobby, Peter. <gasps> The middle child curse. We've even you seen really... for everything except for one. Uh, we, well, we know the theme, so we're just having trouble with the. Hmm. So probably, question eleven is the answer to the middle child is the middle child's name so it's a so it's a so it's a group that has a name that's probably somebody's purse name in it what was the what was the question of that again wooly bully was a number two hit in 1965 for who so it's a person and, and his name is probably whatever the middle child is from the brady bunch boys oh okay there's there's peter and then Somebody and Bobby. It's going to be a common name like Steve I know. or John. No. As soon as I hear it, I'll know it. Um, I know. Rob? What's her last name? The the Brady's? Rob Brady? Yeah. Was, was there a Rob? 
Mm -hmm. Mike Brady. There's a Bobby Brady. No, it couldn't be a Rob because Bobby mm -hmm. would be Robert. Right. Yeah, you're right. Robert. Peter. What's another common name like that? Edward. Charles. God, I didn't realize what bland names they had. Yeah. Until now. Marsha was the only one who was had oh, no. Hmm. So we have. Five seven eleven because I'm not too sure about uh, like. You don't think it's Sam Brady? Sam Brady? No, that was the Allison's right. boyfriend. The but you don't think the middle child's name is Sam? No. Although we could say Sam. No, oh, it doesn't. It isn't ringing a bell. Sam we Brady. No. Sam. Because we don't know it's the middle child. We're just guessing. Well, I would think that he would have named somebody. Clint must have been that kid that showed up. Remember, they said that there was a kid at to it. So I put like we raspberry and cream and coffee mm. slush. It's so good. yummy. Ninety nine cents. It's huge. That's a pretty good price. Good, pretty good. Pretty, right. pretty, pretty good. <laughs> okay, I think everybody got the theme. Yeah, so. I had the theme by question number two. We answered, answered two questions. I'm like, oh, I know what the theme is. I don't know what they, all the they, answers they, there are. There is yet. a padding to the theme as well. They're in alphabetical no, order. I oh, thought it was going to be something about Bob Carroll, Ted, and Alice. And then I thought, how could you make a whole series of questions on that? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I don't like ooh, the movie. <laughs> ooh, if they're in alphabetical order, we got something wrong. Uh oh. Oh. So the answer for number one is Alice, the TV show Alice. <laughs> number two oh, wait it was not alice's restaurant well no, alice no. The, it's no, it was no. Al, it was mel's restaurant it was alice it's alice alice's, alice's restaurant alice. is a song about a thanksgiving oh so yeah. did we get that <laughs> wrong because we put yeah, alice's buffering. restaurant yeah and if you got alice you got it right what alice, Ooh, wow. alice's alice. restaurant. the, the show was called show. alice not alice's restaurant the show was yeah. alice Okay, I'll number leave it up two to my is, teammates to number two. I went back and forth. I was going to say Blank World, created by Howie Mandel. I don't know if people would have got it, but the answer is oh, yeah. Bobby. Yes. The answer is what? Bobby. Yeah. Bobby. Okay. Good. What yeah, was the Howie Mandel one. thing? What? Yeah, Bobby's uh, World. Blank Bobby's World. World. Yeah. A cartoon oh, created by Howie Mandel. Oh, okay. That was like he plays Bobby. a little baby, plays the Bobby's baby World. or something like that. But oh, that no. was that was before I saw a better one. I thought with. And he had the cutest stuffed spider. Number three is uh, Carol Burnett. Yep. Yeah. Little girl's name is Cindy Lou Who. Yay! Yeah. Karen can do that right away. Uh, Greg Ooh. Evigan played BJ in the band. Uh, what? Greg oh, BJ in the band. Oh, it was great. BJ in the bear. bear. You guys, bear. it was great. Oh, BJ McKay, no this is my best friend, Bear. Yes. Okay, wait. Greg, what was his last name? Greg Evigan. Evigan. How do you spell that? He's also one of my B I G A N. Yes. Greg Evigan. I thought it, we thought it was Clint Eastwood. No, there's no Clint. <laughs> there was a movie. Oh, you're thinking, yeah. There's no Clint in the Brady Bunch. No. Well, that's. What hey, we... what are you doing, giving away the theme already, there, uh, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Number six is Jan. That's Jan Levinson from the show The Alice, uh, The Office. Number seven is Marsha Warfield. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. What was last Marshall time? Warfield. Warfield? Yeah, like Washington, but without the ton and field instead. <laughs> and her middle name was Marsha, and her maiden name was Marsha. So her name was <laughs> Marsha, 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 Warfield. <laughs> <laughs> no, her middle name was Francine. Oh, yeah, Matt. <laughs> so, so it's pronounced Marsha. So to be clear. <laughs> pronounced Marsha. Kevin, you need, <laughs> you need both names for the point, right? Yes, Marsha Warfield, to get the point, yeah. <laughs> It'll be too easy if you just put the Brady Bunch cast, yeah. you know. Can you have, can we have 75% of the points if we put Marsha War something else? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we corrected no. ourselves. We had Wallace at first, and then we pulled Warfield out at the end. 
Thank God. I, I like the way um, they got number eight on, on Susan's team. Somebody said that sounds like Wayne Campbell from Wayne's World. And that's played by Mike Myers. Well, we knew that oh there was a Mike God. somewhere in there. Yep. <laughs> Carry number nine everybody. is Peter Sellers. Yay. That's the only one I knew. Number 10 sure. is Oliver. Yep. Yay. And number 11, the bonus, is Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Damn oh, I never would have gotten that. Oh, so, oh, oh, it is a group. We knew there was a Sam we were looking for, but we couldn't figure it out. On number, on number 10, do you have to have the exclamation point after it? Yes. No. Well, <laughs> no, not really. That's how I put it in the answer, though. Yeah, I guess. Yes. That was a hint because that was actually part of the title. Nice. Please, sir, I want some more. So, Mark, showed, Mark showed me the party. You guys, please, you sir, the can, party, I you party. Know, Sellers, can I have some more? Please, sir, can I have another? What, well, how when, does Oliver fit into the uh, oh, this sounds like theme? He's a little boy that yeah. was adopted. You, you got to go back to Carl's theme where they always added a young kid to, to get the ratings Ooh. up. At yeah. the end of the show show and, the, and Kevin, these are not in alphabetical order. The answers in first I, name are alphabetical order. No, they're not. No, they're not. not. No, they're not. Do order very well, then. P. <laughs> oh, I screwed up. Uh, that's right. N O P. Uh, oh, nine and ten are backwards. Uh oh, this is why I thought we had two more. So wrong they're in they're said. in alphabetical order, except where they're not. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I didn't even say that. I just you know that was I thought I put them in. I did it quick. Re redo the whole round. I'm okay, sorry. we 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 Mostly. got it. Good job. So report let's your go, scores. Let's go to our scores. So round number one. Let's go with keep your thoughts and prayers. We have Carl. What do you got? No pressure or anything on your team now that you've Ten. said that. 10. Or 11, you know, whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, Ten. at what point are we able to bank our bonus point for one of the rounds that we didn't do so well on? <laughs> Maybe next week. Never. Stranger <laughs> New World things. Uh, 10. Oh. Please. Anti, oh, Avi Viderzain. I got eight. Do we get eight? Yeah. Yeah, because the damn last names. Um, you can't hear the growls. Also eight. <laughs> All right. There are too many sausages in democracy, Mr. President. Eight. Okay, we didn't embarrass ourselves. Good. Eight, eight, ten, ten, ten. No, ten, ten, eight, eight, eight. Good job. Very good. Let's move the light along. Good okay. job, team. I'm ready. Ooh, round move. two. Moving right along? Yeah, let's move. Moving, of... moving, moving, moving. Moving on up. No. You never moving know. Around. You it's never song know. From the, song from the Muppet movie. Yes. Loose and fancy free. Thank there you, Karen. Who is the lead singer of the band Heart? Oh, that's uh, the Wilson sisters. It's a question, number one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Susan, we just yell out right. the answers. Oh, sorry, but where's the category? Do we're doing now? Susan, Susan, I'm I'm this game answering before. categories all around blanks. mute. Uncover the theme. Oh, sorry. Yeah, mute. Yeah, Question see. number two. Nickname Iron Blank and Kid Dynamite in his early career and later known as the baddest man on the planet. He is considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time, and he reigned as the undisputed heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990. Question number three. Blank is a city in central Italy in the capital of T the Tuscany region. It is the most populated city in Tuscany with 383,000 something inhabitants in 2016 and over 1.5 million in its metropolitan area. Question. Are you going to paste three? Four. Yep. She was the first woman to appear on a U.S. circulating coin. Question five. It's another one of those. I give you the middle name, but it, because they there's a hint. Uh, let's see, chat. Question five. Blank Morris Blank. He was an American politician, statesman, businessman, United States Air Force officer, and author who was a five-term senator from Arizona and Republican Party nominee for the president of the United States in 1964. Question six, blank, blank, born Eunice Mary, whatever, 
November 1990. She died, an American film radio stage actress, comedian. She performed in leading supporting roles, blah, 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 real boring stuff. But at the end is kind of a good hint. She uh, was best known for her supporting actress in the role of Mildred Pierce in 1945. Oh, and there's a little more. This was the, the, the good hint that might help some people who saw the TV show she was in. No. She played our Miss Brooks. So that's part of part of question six. Mm. Question seven. Who had a number one hit for two weeks in 1973? Singing their has got to be a morning after. I said it that way intentionally because I do not want to sing it. <laughs> Your voice is that bad? No, it just, uh, I just <laughs> don't want to hit. Yes. Uh, number eight, who won the best actor for playing the role of Jake LaMotta? Number nine, what actor was obsessed with getting more cowbell? Number 10, blank, Knievel is the son of stuntman Evil Knievel. Bonus question, what actor played Bonnie Hefner? And then there's a little bit of a theme hint coming at you in a second. I'm gonna post it in the chat. Then the theme may not be as obvious as the last round, Ignore the surnames, but not history. Go Ooh, to your rooms. That's our hint, huh? What's in the question number seven? What's the little C in the middle? I don't understand what that's about. It's part of her name. It's a hint. It's part of her name. You got to fill in the blanks. It spells a person's name. So you gave a hint as part of the last name. That's correct. Okay. And don't say anything else because people who know the answer already okay. know the answer. People might not know it, but it was a number one song. Go what? to your room. Yeah, I remember the song. So someone going to send it? Someone send it to the rooms. That would be me, I guess. It's my job tonight. Open all rooms. Uh, it, it was there and disappeared. That's true. Yeah, I'm incapable of going to my the room. Ooh, it must have bumped me out of my room. Yeah, I wasn't. You can't go? It wasn't on me There we go. There, sir. It immediately made it made me come back. That was weird. It's a personal thing. It's that's an ecumenical matter. Um I where are I? Where am I? Whose room am I in? Or is just I was just sent back to the main session. So you should be going to it's you should have oh I mean Mike is gonna left the meeting and had to rejoin. So Mike is stranger things. No, Alan, you're it's his it's his. No, I'm in. I'm in room one. I'm with yeah, Carl. it says not joined. It wants you to join. It must join be under what? one of your screens. No, I I, I flashed it. Then it told me it was sending me back to the main room. It says move you to room one. You're in room one. You should be there. Well, I'm on also. team. I'm on team number one. Yeah, it's it's giving me a notice saying that it wants you to go back. I don't care. It's, it's, so where so where are you sending me? I can't send you. It doesn't want me to send you. Carrig too. So try. <laughs> Here, let me give you a power and you can just move yourself. That will make more sense probably. Carrig probably can't do it though, can you, on your phone? Well, wait, hang on. There's down here breakout rooms. Yeah, go to breakout rooms at the bottom. Carrig, do you see that? Okay, join breakout. Here we go. Let me let me do that. Okay. All right. We had some right. issues in the main room. Okay. We haven't discussed any of the questions yet. So oh, good. Who's okay? So the number, number one. Who's what is number one? That's um Anne. No, it's not Anne. It's um, Wilson. Um, her sister's name is Debbie Wilson. No, 
Anne and Anne plays the guitar. And Debbie Harry? No, it's her sister. Her last name is Wilson. Anne and oh, I just their voice is amazing. Um Carrie, help me out here. Okay, what's the band? Heart. Oh geez. Anne Wilson. Is the other one's last name Wilson? Yeah. So Anne and uh, I probably knew at one point. You want to come back to that one? Yeah. Uh, number two, it. no clue. No. Number three. Um. Hmm. Well, number four, Susan B. Anthony. Yay! Oh, sorry, number three is Florence. Okay. Number five is Barry Goldwater. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Number six is. Hmm. Okay, so number one. Number seven is there's got to be a morning after. Do, 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 do. I remember. Um well, number eight is uh Robert De Niro. Mine is Christopher Walken. Yep. Or Cowbell. That's the only one I knew. Number 10 is Robbie Needle. Ignore the surnames, but not history. Okay. So let's go down the list. Sorry, because I don't have any written down. So we know number two is who? We don't know yet. Oh, three? Three is Florence, four is Susan B. Anthony, five is Barry Goldwater, nine is Christopher Walken, and 10 is Robbie. Okay, Susan, I'm typing as we go. Susan B. Anthony, who is number five? Uh, Barry Goldwater, senior. <laughs> Six? Um... Don't know. Oh, we don't know. Uh, Seven. Never heard. Yeah. Hmm? Seven. That's at. Uh... What do we have for this? Seven. Don't know yet. Oh, no. I thought you guys had something more after Christopher uh, Barry Goldwater. No. Just, Evil, just Christopher Evil Walken Sun? for nine. Do we know who played actor played Barney Hunt? Hefner? No. Oh, I've got to let some people in rooms. What am I doing? Vincent's sitting here waiting to go into a room for somebody. It says Peggy. So let's put them in room four. Plus one. We'll put we'll put Peggy with us, Vincent with four. Yay. I knew I was supposed to be doing something. Hello, room five. Hi. Hi. Hello. It's, we're in a mystery, a mystery thing. Oh. S Susan, there's two unassigned people in the room. Okay, got them. Peggy and Vincent. I got them now. Uh, number eight is Robert De Niro. I don't think we covered that one. Yeah, can we got somebody, that one. Can somebody okay. share the, the clues? Okay, here's one we don't have. Where is okay. Let me find the right chat. 
Okay, this is question six. We don't have this. And we don't have the name of the son of evil could evil. That's Robbie. Robbie, R O B B I E. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, here's 11. We don't have this 11, right? And we don't right. have question two. We don't know the theme. And we don't know what the theme is. And I know that the number question number one, who's the lead singer in Heart? And I know Anne is the the second sister who plays all the instruments. And the singer is somebody I cannot think of her name. And it's bugging me so bad because I just love Heart. I've read the Wikipedia page and it's very interesting. Six is Eve Arden. All right. E V E. How do you spell the last name? A R D E N. Arden Way. And we're supposed to ignore the surname for the theme. Ignore the surname. Pay attention to history. Right. But yeah. I always forget surname is the last name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's first names. So there's a theme. Yeah. All of this category tonight are the themes. We just had the Brady Bunch. Uh, the theme of this, he said, was a song. Oh. So. No, I did not say it was a song. You said it was a number one song or something. It was a popular song. No, that's question number seven. Oh, okay. I guess I wasn't paying close to it. Okay. So it may or may not be a song. <laughs> Thanks. Susan. What there is, is a funny? hint. Ignore the surnames, but not history. Yeah, that's I know. We got that. Do. Okay. Now I'm trying to think of the Wilson sisters. And so 10, ten we think is Robbie Knievel? Yeah. All right. And then you've got... It's definitely Robbie Knievel. Barney Hefner. Do we have Barney Hefner? No. That's 11. I don't know who Barney Hefner is, so. Neither do I. Not seeing the theme. Iron Blood, Kid Dynamite. Baddest man on the planet considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight boxers. Do we have that heavyweight boxer you name yet? 87 to 90. Um, that's too early for the ear biter, right? Mike Tyson, yeah. And it's... Sorry. So, who else fought Ali? Because that was, uh, well, it might be too late for Ali. I hate boxing. I never follow it. Me neither. Yeah, same here. So, the lead singer in Heart is, what is her name? That? It's bugging the crap out of me. The sister's yeah. name is Anne. Is it oh. Mary? No, I keep thinking Marie or Mary, but it's not. It's the heavier set one of the two. The dark haired one? Yeah, the dark haired one. Oh, what one is her name? Got a, what is it? I, I can't. No, I don't. I Do we know their was, last name? Wilson. Oh, Wilson. So it's, and, and the other one is named what? Anne. Anne Wilson and. They sing what? Barracuda. Cynthia. And, uh, Magic Man and oh, they're so good. Kate, Mary, Terry. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. It's really, I'm, I'm, I can picture her. I can hear her. So, what, what other answers do you have? Maybe the theme will help. Okay. Do you want to write it down? Yeah, I'll tell you what we got so far okay. for first names. Um, wait, let me get over here too. Okay, so we've got Florence. We have Susan. We Eve have Penny. Barry. We have Eve. Eve was six, I thought. Yeah. Eve was number seven. No, you was six. Oh, six, yeah. Robert. What's four and what's four and five? We don't know. Four is Susan and five is Barry. Oh, I didn't know you're writing them down in order. Oh, sorry. So four is Susan, five is Barry, and one is what? Okay, number one, we don't know. 
Okay. Number two, we don't know. Number three is Florence. Number four is Susan B. Anthony. Okay. Number five is Barry Goldwater. Number six is Eve Arden. Arden. Okay. Number seven, we don't know. And what's the clue for seven? Do I have? I don't think that's up. Um, here, let me see. Give it to you. Uh, who's had a number one hit for two weeks in 1973 singing, There's Got to Be a Morning After? 1976. Ooh. 73. 73. The Morning After song? Yeah. Very popular song. And the yeah. Little oh. part of their was, name. Was that um, Debbie Gibson? No, she was no. later. Later. The, um, there's a C that's part of the clue. Oh, yeah. The C is the beginning of the last name. There's got to be a morning after blank. And then the last name starts with C. Mm -hmm. A small C? It's a small C in there. So, oh, it's going to be like an Irish last name, maybe? Yeah, I think that's right. A small yeah. C, so it's Irish. Mix something. Yeah. And then or he does the exact or... number of blanks. Nick. Yeah, if somebody McCarthy. can count the blanks, he always does that. McCarthy? No. Might be McCarthy. No. It's long enough. No, there's too many blanks. Oh, okay. I don't remember. No, no there's not. O'Connell? No, no, McCarthy would work. But there's no great singer from that time named McCarthy. Okay, so Mick. Well, great. It, maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was a like one-hit wonder kind of person. Oh, no, no, no. no she, um, that song was She's very popular. Mick. McConnell. The two L's, that would work. Mcgovern? Marine McGovern? Oh, McGovern's good. Try McGovern. Does that work? Because she was popular around then. And that would be Maureen? Is that her name? If I remember correctly, yeah. Maureen McGovern, yeah. I don't remember the C, though. Hmm. So, number one, what's the clue for one? Um, Who's the lead singer in the band Heart? Oh, that's lead singer Heart. And two is? Nickname Iron Blank and Kid Dynamite. Oh, the Iron Blank. Okay. Sorry. That should be easy. You put those up. And then eight is what's which one's eight? Robert De Niro. Okay, you got that one. Yeah. So that's Robert De Niro. And nine is, do you have that one? Christopher Walken. <coughs> Ten is Robbie. We're just missing one, two, and eleven. So there's Susan and Barry. I'm really bummed about number one. It's really pissing me off that I can't think of what that is. I mean, I'm serious. I followed their career. Have uh -huh. you thought of like common girl names? Yeah. It feels like it's a multi name. Um, Cynthia, Marianne, Debbie, Andrea, Barbara, Linda, Melinda, Emily. Melissa. Melissa Etheridge? No, we're talking about the Wilsons. The Wilsons. Oh. The boxer one should be easy. So because he was the baddest man on earth. So we've all heard of him. Right? That one should be so easy. Yeah. Ali well, was the greatest of all time. It's in probably a first Ali. name, right? Iron something like Iron Bob or something. Iron Yuppie. Yuppie? It's a Simpsons joke. Oh, so that's mm -hmm. not, you're joking. Okay, never mind. We're all excited. Ooh, yuppie. We got one. Three years undisputed. So who were those guys? Oof. Oh, 
bugging the crap out of me. I can't think of that name. Okay, I better just pass. So what what do you guys think about this theme? I have no clue. Florence. But we don't. Yeah, Eve. Even that, hmm. Susan. Barry. Robert. Christopher. Robbie. What's that have to do with history? Well, Eve, Barry, and Florence. Susan. So, Eve. Barry. Florence. Could it be a... Usually I get these. Famous Florences. It can't be a place like Florence, Italy or anything like that because there's no Berry Italy or Eve Italy or... <sighs> there's a Berry in Ontario, but it's not exactly important. You know, Robert, Christopher, and Robbie are all just probably fillers. Damn it. What is that woman's name? It feels like it would give me the whole cute clue. <laughs> the missing link. Could they be saints? St. Florence, St. Susan, St. Barry? Not St. Robbie. So first names only, think of history. That was the... Yeah, think of history. Oh, God damn it. One of the teams is already back. Room team two. Mm. They're back. Damn it. Gee. Recent history. Don't give us any hints. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> It better not be the Johnny Depp trial. That's all I'm saying. No, none of these names are anything to do with Johnny okay, Depp. Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know about that till. Listen, the pencil video. something in for number one, Susan. Okay. No. Pencil something in. Just trust me. Pencil something in. Keurig, think about what you talk about last round. You said it last round. Don't hint. Go. Me? I don't know. Go, Kevin. I don't want you to hit me. I, I want to figure this that. out. Fair and square. I said something last round. Was it Carrig or me? Oh, don't say. Oh, geez. Marsha. What he said. Carl better not have got this. <laughs> His team better not have got this. Carl is a polymath. He probably got every one of them. Barney Hefner. Anybody know who Barney Hefner? Does that ring a bell? Anybody's bell? No. For the boxer, should we just say Mike Tyson just to have an answer? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. You gotta have some answer. So that would be Mike. Yeah. Let's say Mike Tyson. Oh. Whose ear did he bite off? Floyd? Floyd Patterson? So he, uh, don't know. Is Floyd Patterson a better answer? Uh, sure. 
It doesn't help because Floyd in these names means nothing either. Let's stick with Mike then. Stupid Wilson's pissing me off. Let's just say, let's say Melinda or something. Pick one. Well, I know it's one of the sisters. I, I know it's not Ann. You can write Ann Wilson. I know it's not true because her sister's the main singer. But you right. can put Ann Wilson so we have something. You don't think you... it's Cynthia or Cindy? No. Melissa, Melinda, Mary. Okay, we're going with Melissa. Go with Melissa, if nothing else. Okay. I am so bummed. What happened? Why well, that's on? no good. We come I back know, and I know. I know. Question one. I know. You do I... know it. You do know? It. Did you pencil something in? Sort of. Susan. Susan, what did you put for number one? Well, I know Ann Wilson. Thank you. That's but it's answer. not Ann Wilson. Yes, it is. It's her sister. No, no, no it it's Ann Anne. Wilson. No. The answer to number one is Ann Wilson. Did you not put Ann Wilson, Susan? Did you no, we put Ann Wilson you? because it's the other sister, though. No, it isn't. No, nope. well, correct. Ann Wilson Susan? is the lead singer of Heart. Her sister's name is Nancy. Hello, Mark Edwards. Nancy Wilson. Hi. How are you, Ron? But the answer um, is Ann Wilson. Oh, okay. Straight, straight well, Susan all right. I assume she's the answer in the for number room. two. Oh, look, is, here comes Adrian. Wait, let wait, don't say anything until Adrian can get it herself in here and listen in. Announcing the arrival of Adrian. Yeah, here's Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Now entering the room. Don't see Adrian. She's on my second screen. Oh. Hello, Adrian. Here's Adrian. Hello. Hi, Hi Adrian. Adrian. I thought maybe Troy would be substituting for you tonight. No, no <laughs> Scottish needed. Finally, Canada is represented. Oh, the no, game no, 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 no. You hurt, you, you, hurt, you hurt my you answer. Hurt. You answer for number two. The answer for number two is Mike, and as an and... Iron Mike Tyson. Yes. Oh. The answer number three is Florence. Yes. Yeah. Florence. Yeah. Florence. As in Nightingale? Answer number four is Susan B. Anthony. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Number five, Barry Goldwater. Yeah. Got it. Number six, Eve Arden. Yay, Pam. Hey. Number seven, hey. Maureen McGovern. Yep. yep. Number eight, Robert De Niro. Yep. Yep. Number nine, Christopher Walken. Yeah. Uh, Not Will Ferrell. Yeah. Because uh, it fits the theme. Right. Number 10, Robbie. Yeah. Yep. Robbie Knievel. And number 11, I don't know who got this one, if anybody got this one. Barney Maybe. Hefner was Archie Bunker's friend. The same uh, guy who played Sam. Mm -hmm. The butcher. You called him, Mike. Brady Bunch. Oh, okay. All the first names are the actors who played the first mm -hmm. round. Oh, 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 my God. And they're in order of the questions from we the previous that. round. Yep, we figured Mike that out. Wickland oh, played, man. Mike played Bobby. <laughs> they're in order, too. Florence oh, Henderson. Oh, that's awful. It took me till question three to get the fiend. Oh, I hate you, Carl. I hate you. Carl Olsen. Barry Williams. I'm so mad at you. I'll, I'll, I'll post the answers with the, the, the actors in there. Did anyone get Alan Melvin? No. No. That's why it was a bonus. It was hard. I did guess that it was going to be the same actor. Yeah, yeah. We, we had no clue what the we actor's name too. was, though. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's why, yeah. For Adam some Melvin. reason, Mike, I kept picturing the guy that played Reuben Kincaid in Partridge Family, but it's not him. But I got to look him up. Oh, that guy. It's Do they look alike? No talking yeah, but, about Partridge uh, Family. There's two, there's two rounds left. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> We're going to end up spoiling it <laughs> the next round. Don't, don't poke. Are you psychic? Oh, Come on now. <laughs> round three. The name break the we jump into the actor. Oh, wait, we got to we do song. We got to break Stores. into song. We got to oh, break. We need and I haven't done scores yet. either. Oh, there's got there's to be a morning after. Who's going to sing it? There's got to be a morning after. We're going to do scores. Oh, damn. I thought we were going to sing the Brady Bunch thing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just getting all the. The Brady getting all the answers bunch. in the question. The Brady Bunch. Three okay, so so before we do song, let's do a photo. So Caspian we and Leonard, do, where are we? We have to do the we have to do the scores. numbers. Oh, scores. we have to do scores. Okay, let's do scores. Scores next. Yeah. Okay, let me do the screen here. Yeah. Yeah, this game stuff gets in the way of the socializing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How dare it. How long okay, is so, so long Adrian is has not been assigned to a team yet. Just saying. So keep that in mind. 
Ooh, uh, Ooh, Mark cool. Edward is here. Woohoo. Yes, I am. Hello. <laughs> there are too many sausages in democracy, Mr. President. Score? That's our team. I think we got oh, nine. Ten. I got nine. We got ten. Lead. Well, we didn't really get the first one. Yes, we did. Ann Wilson. Yes. You I said it. I did the whole time, time Susan. You okay, did you get can't, it. You, you can't you hear me. Put Ann Wilson. Wilson. It was correct. All right. Take All right. It, take it. You're fine. Ten, then. Okay. Ten. We can't hear the growls. Uh, nine. Uh, we have Carl. <laughs> okay. A uh, Veter Zane. A Veter a Vitor thing. I see you in here, Rob. Get out of here. Well, you don't have the averages, so I'm going to fix it. Okay, fix it. Yeah. <laughs> a Veter Zane. Ten. Okay, Stranger New World Things. Ten. Ten. Oh my Keep God. your thoughts and prayers. We have Carl. Ten. <laughs> so, guess who gets Adrian? Yay! <laughs> 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 oh, okay. yay! <laughs> <laughs> She's all excited. She's so funny. Okay. So before we, we got to take a picture. So everybody get on their little cameras. I mean, get their little smiles together. Let me get my. Oh, <laughs> okay, everybody ready? I have a Brady Bunch background. Oh. We are kind of Brady Bunch. Adrian, I cannot find the my website for Susan Kerbig. It's not pulling up for some reason. <laughs> With all the grief vampire stuff in there. Is there a reason oh. why I can't find it? Uh, I don't know. Did you do I've the picture a, already? I've got a picture. It, yeah, it, should, picture, it, of it should be on the WordPress. Uh, <laughs> dot WordPress site. The uh, vampire and, stole it. And uh, Robin Canton in, is working on that, moving it over to the new site as we speak, instead of coming to trivia and allowing me to come. Look to at trivia. that little doggy. Oh. Yeah. I talked to him today. I had a Zoom mm -hmm. with him for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's do we break or do we round three? Okay, so break. before we go, we take a break because we lose people and I don't want to lose anybody. So we got to do birthday songs. We've got two people having birthdays. One is Kelly Burke and one is Avi on Saturday. So since he's not going to be here, we got to put a Vitor Zane in here or something like that. So we're going to do a happy birthday song. Remember the rules oh, oh, oh. that there's no tempo, there's no um, no, you don't need to tell people to mess it up. It will be bad no. enough. You can do whatever you want, whatever theme. So I no no specific language, anything you want. Right, I'm so a and and Avi. So however you guys want to do that. Right, here we go. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to Happy 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 birthday happy 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 birthday to you Audrey Kelly happy birthday to you and many more fantastic best we've ever done one of our best we've done okay five minute break brought a tear to my eye is Abby leaving if anybody wants to know next one I get going to your ears, you mean blood Abby, to your ears. Bye, Abby. Abby. Good night, everybody. Hey, Good night, Abby. Happy Happy see you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One day, Avi hopefully. Avi Durzain. Avi Durzain. Avi Durzain. Avi Durzain. Avi Durzain. Anybody and wants to know fresh. whether they want to play the next round? The next round, it will be Brady Bunch trivia. <laughs> He's kidding. Okay, Welcome then I'm back definitely leaving. Uh, hey, you never so, know. All right, five minutes. Uh, yeah. Happy travels. Yeah, Adrian, you can, uh, you can get over there and watch uh, watch your team lose. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and no spoilers. Well, we know that like, some team from Alberta is going to lose. <laughs> and win. And yeah, win. well, that's not as much fun. <laughs> okay. What about Strange New Worlds uh, spoilers? So I'm going to run in and out of here as you know. I hear my husband groan <laughs> or whoop. I'm really enjoying Strange New Worlds. <laughs> I am too. No spoilers. Uh, I haven't started yet because I'm still <gasps> Adrian. Sorry to grad school. Oh no. Adrian, can you put it's, the link in there? So I good, cannot Kelly. find the damn Much more of a throwback. Okay. 
to so the much better series. than Discovery and Picard, if you ask is me. Is it Susan well, WordPress.org? <gasps> cool. This is a birthday present today. <gasps> oh, what is, is, that is, that a, is that a uh, pop socket okay. on the back? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. My roommate that. randomly yeah. texted me uh, Mine is... weeks ago and asked what my favorite nebula was, and that's how this ended up. Cool. Mine's nice. space. So it's close. I had that so one. Final frontier. Yes. So I had that one and the picture was peeling off. Oh no. Um, so I decided I needed a new one. So this was my yeah. birthday present. Cool. That's awesome. Final frontier. Yep. I'm I'm really enjoying Spock. He uh, the actor. I mean, all the casting has been I'm phenomenal. stunned at how well Spock mimic spot yes. from the original series even this is, most recent episode yep. it's not giving away anything about the episode the way he says sensors is even how leonard nimoy said it in the yeah his, his vocal pattern is it's eerily perfect yes yep. he's he's awesome yeah it's, it's re but really no well done yes i agree well i don't think it's too much of a spoiler that there's a spot on the enterprise what well, I mean, you know, they were in what season two of Discovery, and that was like the best part of Discovery that season was was Pike and Spock. So it was inevitable that they were going to get their own show. Yeah, the uh, well, anything is better than the first season of Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> yes, God, that was awful. It was awful. Oh, Adrian, the last thing we have to sell, the last huge thing we have to sell is the boat. Oh, you still have the boat. Yeah, we st still have the boat. We sold the motor. Oh, that was gone really quickly. Nice. So, yeah, for a grant, but oh well. But yeah, that's the last big thing to sell is the boat. Nice. But uh, it seems that nobody wants the office chair for some reason. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh well. But yeah, it's difficult to sell the rest of the stuff. But I think we're gonna sell the boat pretty quickly. So, oh, good. Yeah, it is the right time of year. The snow yep. has melted. The yeah, it's, has... it's the right time to buy a boat. Yeah. Say, so, Vincent, the last uh, uh, movie night movie you had was pretty good. Oh, thank you. It wasn't me that picked it. It was uh, Donna. So yeah, I, yeah, I understand that, but uh, yeah. you should let everybody else know about that. Oh yeah, what movie was it? Uh, something to do with mushrooms and how <laughs> fantastic <it> fun guy. <laughs> oh, fantastic it's on Netflix. Yeah. Huh. It was it was really good, very informative. So I was very, I was happy that I didn't pick it, but I did pick the other movie. And that was one that Rob suggested from here. So I'm going to be showing that one. And I found uh, a platform that will show it. So we no fraternizing with other team members there, Susan. Uh, which movie is that? Um, it's uh, Science Friction. Oh, yeah, uh, that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure my group will so they anything to I, do with science and stuff so. i i think that's probably uh, most of that kind of stuff uh you know if you uh have a scientist on uh like uh let's say science friday or uh, quirks and quarks in canada mm. or uh down in australia and one of their science shows they're taking they're they're not twisting the scientist's words it's mostly like you know if the scientist goes on a dr oz or something like that <laughs> oh it's it's much worse than that yeah yeah oh, yeah it's yeah. it's it's not it's not just dr oz type things are we talking about science friction yeah, yeah. yeah. it's anything oh, yeah. you might see on the science channel the discovery channel the learning channel the history channel horrible. so much more <laughs> yeah no it's 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 much worse than you're making it out to be larry Watch it. Watch well, no, the, uh... All I'm suggesting, all I'm suggesting is if you listen, if you're listening to a, a science based radio show, I'm pretty sure they treat the scientists that they have on 
pretty damn good. Yeah, well, if you all... after you watch the documentary, see if you say the same thing. I, yeah, I, yeah I've, I've, I've watched the documentary, but you I mean, you watch science fiction? Yeah, I helped pay for it. Oh, so, help pay yeah. for it? Where? Which platform? Yeah, I think it's uh, Skeptoid TV Media. Stuff, isn't it? Yeah, Skeptoid Skept Media. You could you could donate before. Yeah. it was it was made. Yeah, Skeptoid uh, Skeptoid Media. I got my I got my name in the credits. I found it. Yay! I found uh, I found uh, I found it on Tubi. Yes, that's yeah. the only place yeah. I could find it too here in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. I watched it when it was first released, but I, I think they've made some changes since then. So I wanted to watch it again. That was the first release. What do you mean the draft? No, you the, made a draft it, it was before it was released to Tubi and yeah, Amazon. It yeah. It, yeah, exactly. It, yeah, it I, felt, actually, it I saw it at SciCon 2019, and it was yeah. really. That's where, where it was. Draft. That's where it was. Yeah. Yeah, so, that, yeah that, that, that was that. It was not a release. Yes, that was a very true. very rough cut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it felt rough. Wasn't well, even color graded. <laughs> it was still good, but. Oh yeah. I like the addition of the comedian who has actually the last word. Who is that guy? I don't know who that is though. Remember, who was it? Mm. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're, we're back, and we're better than ever. So next week, I will not be here. I will be in Vegas with Sterling. Ooh. And so that means that Rob said he would take over. And mm, what because, we thought... Because I was not invited to the party, so I'm going to be... <laughs> Sorry. Me. It's been... Well, you wouldn't want to go to a party in Vegas, trust me. Mm right yeah I'm, I'm still debating from going to psychology so oh come on that's october give me a break of course you'll go uh, it would be another freaking wave or something worse by then who knows I'll book you know it could be a, it time. could be anything could happen by yeah. then yeah you don't have to buy your Box. tickets today you can wait yeah so the point is is that um we're gonna need some people to do next week but then peggy emailed me and she said she's got a whole category whole thing ready peggy I was thinking true? of letting Peggy do it. What do you mean? Do five, five cat, five, five categories. Got five. It's a hodgepodge uh, of junk, but yeah. I got five of them. I you think that'd be four, fun. Four categories and a bonus. Yep. Okay. Or four bonuses and a category. <laughs> They're all going to be a bonus. <clears throat> no. So mm -hmm. I'm tempted to just go with that, and then Sounds good to me. And then we need to pick out who's going to be Peggy. the following Peggy. week. Uh, but we can do that later. Let's see. Yeah. Rob can do that. I will be actually do, do, do it now or you have more people because people travel okay. for them. There's less people. So, so I'm gonna put Peggy down for next week. So I won't even be here because I will be flying. I might oh. get my flight won't even have landed when you guys start. Let's hope your arms don't get too tired. Oh. In, <laughs> just get in flight, in flight like Wi-Fi, that. Susan. Oh no. Oh, that would be funny. I think I'm actually going to be stuck in well an airport. I'd formed over in-flight Wi-Fi. Yeah. I'm going to be in LA for a little bit. You can ask everybody on the plane to help. enough to pay for in-flight Wi-Fi? Everybody in the plane is eligible to play. One, two, three. <laughs> Does anybody know who plays? Susan e would be on a really big team. That would be hilarious. That would be really funny. And they'd be like, why is everybody talking and insulting each other through this game? I don't understand. <laughs> you say, shut up. You want to win, don't you? <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> so, and, and I won't be there for the next, I guess, three weeks because I'm hoping to go on a trip that has been canceled twice before. Oh, where is and that? That's to Newfoundland. So I'm oh, going to yeah. be four and a half hours away from California. It's one of those half hour things. Remember we yeah. had one yeah. of those in trivia <laughs> yeah. before? <laughs> Some yeah. people's lives are starting to get back. Oh. So you're saying you can't play because you'll be in this alternate time zone thing, which is like all from reality. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And very okay. much later, way too late. Okay, so it's game 109 is, is yeah. taken. So that will be on June 2nd. So on the we're looking at June uh, 9th, right? Does that sound like a Thursday? It does. Okay, so that's the game I'm looking to fill right there. I know Rob told me he could do one. Yeah. If, and, if Adrian's willing to help me, I'll do a category. In sure. Yeah. yeah, you just send me the questions because I won't be there. Send me the questions that I'll look over them. And, there you uh, go. Yeah. I'll help you out for sure. Sure. Okay, then who else? I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot. Awesome. Good job. Well, I think you'll I do great, know, Vincent. What, I don't know what questions to ask. But Something I'll... that Carl cannot 
answer. That's what I want. Good luck with that. <laughs> feminine, feminine sanitary products. Go stand at the grocery store and stare at the the brand names. The brand names. Oh great! Like now, now you just cuts. told Carl what to go study. At I want Carl to go down to the. <laughs> To the local CVS or Walmart near him and stare at the feminine products. <laughs> and then he's going to get turned in by store security. I'm looking at you, Carl. I know As if where you couldn't you get live. those answers off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, got to be something. They're store brands. They're not going to be completely on the off. Okay, so I've got Rob. I've got Vincent. Who else do I have? I have silence. <laughs> <laughs> you should have Mark. Oh, Mark, you want to do a category? Ooh. Oh, oh, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mark volunteered. I heard him say it. I'm but trying to fill the categories for, two, not next week. It'll be Peggy's running it next week, but the week after that. I will definitely do one at some point. Okay. Two weeks. Cool. Two weeks. So is that I a commitment, say. Mark? Did I hear you commit for two weeks? Are you committing to do? That. Let's see where <laughs> I am in two weeks. Rob, I don't know. Remember? Uh, He's got some esoteric, very interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that. yeah. Wait, wait. Really you're careful. the one who came up with Punch and Judy, or aren't you, Mark? That's yeah, funny. you'll never let it go. You know <laughs> Unless never we have mind. White House. I don't want you to do a category. <laughs> <laughs> ben, did I just see your hand? It'll head be five? hard for me to keep it simple, but I'll try. Famous magicians that everyone knows from the 1800s. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. Ben, did I see you say, put your hand I up? I a couple. Bob, did I hear you? I can do one. Carl, okay. Benjamin. It was like when I was growing up in church, we had these calls, the, the pastor would get altar the front, calls. Uh, altar call, and he would stand there going, and they'd play the same song over and over and over until whoever it was he was hoping that would be coming forward would finally hurry up and come forward. And it drove me nuts. I think was I it came the theme forward to a couple Jeopardy? Times. <laughs> was, da, 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 da. No, it's a religious <laughs> song. It's just as I am. It might be. It might have been. Yeah. So just did I hear Deborah I and, and Leonard go volunteer? No. No. <laughs> Bob? I have what? too much homework as it Okay, is. I will let what? it go with Rob, Vincent, and Carl, and then you guys can figure it out because you've got, <clears> you got a week. My computer needs repairing. I couldn't do a category without my computer. Because I, can't, <clears throat> I can't copy and paste on the. Oh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. The okay. Yeah, I need we'll get to it. I, I'm sure I have great confidence. And, in I gotta, and there's something else I need to do with my computer. So I've got to. Mm. Why'd you have Max do it? Hey, uh, Mike, Mike, you haven't done one in a while. You got anything uh, in the back burner? Um, I got one I'm thinking of, but I think I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, next week I'm going to be in California. No, two weeks, it's two weeks. Where are you going to, oh, where are We're you going to California? I'm going to be in the Los Angeles, I'm going to be oh. going to the Max Fun Con. Yeah, it might as well be just another world. Oh, Max Fun. Yeah, it's a week after if that. If anybody okay. is hesitant, you can just use the mock method, what I call the mock method. You just <laughs> pick a favorite thing and list as many, like 10 or 12 things about it, and then look up alternate things with the same thing like when i had to do bobby i just look up bobby on, on google and come up with bobby cop or bobby's world and i, use I don't that think as you can thing. i don't think it's right for you to be able to name your own meme the mock method well it's like the um <laughs> it's like the uh you're know. not really doing it it's faking yeah yeah but he's yeah. making he's making you don't get the name it after yourself okay you're making a mockery of it. it i'm making it's a like mockery you don't your own trivia. nicknames oh, oh. you don't say Okay, so we'll call it what we call it then. The uh, we'll we'll come up with it. Okay, Kevin. all right. We'll, we'll decide. Well, this it's a formula. You just come up with an idea, mm. then questions that fit that idea. It could be a favorite song, a favorite so, TV show. So we ha we haven't done a lot of states, and we haven't done even more years. Just pick a year. So and pick like, or like, a person's like, name. And, and, and you can like, use you can use what page. what I did uh, in for my last category, which is just history. stuff that on brilliant. on that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wikipedia has those too. Anything about Canada? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, no, 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 no,
There are websites that have random trivia questions if you wanted to do a grab bag. Oh my also, God! There's there's a Netflix those websites at least show. Seventy five percent of their answers now. are actually correct sometimes. How about how you about prime minister, wives and prime ministers? Their shoe sizes. How's that? Are they, are they tasty or something? Maybe they're pro, they're t- they're tastier. Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so the other thing I was going to say is anybody who wants to come by who's in, who's nearby where I am right now, please come over on uh, Sunday. This upcoming Sunday, we're going to barbecue. All right. I'll see you so, there. Ready for round number three? So, well, Ooh. I'm just making sure could, I have my could, announcements. That was. Could we bring basically. anything, Susan? Mm-mm. Yeah, and no, nobody wants to make an announcement. Just bring yourself. No announcements. I'm sure you think of something, but we're taking too long already. All right, wait, Hi, so Kevin. I, so I, I had something published this week. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I'm not writing as much as I used to, but uh, I did a book review. Oh yeah, the, yeah, he Havana did Syndrome. on the Havana Syndrome, so, which got us uh, in so much trouble. Anyone interested in <laughs> uh-huh. subjects? Yeah, thanks for that, Rob. Yeah, thanks, Rob. For what are you talking about? What, what are you talking? What are you talking? The Havana syndrome. Damn it! What are you talking about? What you talking? Uh, something about? about Wikipedia. Yeah, that stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't mention Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, well. It's just so, a uh, Psycon, it's, the it's, first it's day, the, the first day uh, that we like put out the announcement, it was like a quick, like here's here's Psycon, you can. Register if you want. It had 25 people already registered. So okay. I don't know what it is right now. I haven't checked, but okay. um, 25 was was a nice little boost on the first day. So they will you, not how did, did, nice. Do you have some insight or is that publicly available information? That is not publicly available. What do you what do you think, Rob? Susan is connected. Okay. Uh, Rob, you weren't even here for any of the announcements. I'll tell you guys. I told I told everybody else later. I haven't even told Rob. I haven't told Rob anything because I haven't seen Rob in ages. I'll have to watch the later. game, is what you're telling me. I'll have to watch the game. No, I don't you're think him, you're seeing him right now. No, but I'll, I already told you guys. You all know. Rob doesn't yeah, so, know. so you told them in the last weeks, right? And that's uploaded. So I can watch that part. If you really want to, or you could just wait until the game's over and I can tell you. Okay. Either way. Anyway, so here we are. Let's go back. So, Kevin, is it another uh, mystery? Round three. It is not a mystery, it is Brady Bunch trivia. No way, oh, really? You're being honest. Oh. He said, sticking I with the theme. I was kidding. What oh, is Carol's <laughs> big name? Theme it's night. A, and it's a multiple choice. Oh, he's not kidding. I'm not kidding. Number oh. two. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait I got to copy these. Yeah, okay. so round three is sticking with the theme. Mute everybody. Sticking with the theme, the Brady Bunch kind of theme. What was Carol's maiden name? And I have the choices. Baines, Brady, Martin, McGillicuddy, or Tyler. One of those is her maiden name. What was the dog's name? Question number two, what was the dog's name? And no multiple choice. You should know that one. <laughs> number three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Landed, you should know it, Landon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why should Leonard what, know? what was the cat's name? And there's four choices. Oh my God. I feel like we're going to be stuck in this loop. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say it out loud. Did I? <laughs> this won't be an easy round. People are not easy. muted, by the way, who's ever got the powers did not do it. No, we didn't. Question number four The boys and girls fight over 94 books of trading stamps. How was their dispute settled? Question number five When did the first episode air? And I got four dates there between 68, 9, 70, and 71. When did the last episode air? I got four choices, 72, 3, 4, and 5. And let's see, question number seven. Marsha gets hit in the nose with what? And I have choices for that. It's multiple choices. Let me find the chat. This next one is kind of long, but you'll know it or you won't. <laughs> that, that's a, I think that's a obvious to some, but not really if you don't. In episode 13, all the kids get the measles and the parents call their doctors. 
One is a male doctor for the boys and a female doctor for the girls. Uh. Who played the part of these doctors? Now, the hint is one is a female from another sitcom and one is a male from another sitcom. And I give hints there. The male was a dad in another sitcom that aired from 1959 to 1963. The female was a mom in another sitcom that aired from 74 to 84. I will accept the actor's name or the show they were famous for. Wait, so, so that's two answers. You just need to give one. Okay, all right then. So if you that's know fair. the doctor, the male doctor, if he was, say, if he was the dad from the Brady Bunch, I would accept Robert Reed or the dad from the Brady Bunch as the answer, okay? You don't have to know the guy's <laughs> name if you don't know, okay? To make it easier. So you'll be able to guess. I have a feeling Carl's not going to do well in this category. I think he'll get some of them. Because somebody else will know. Number nine. <laughs> All these people except one appeared on the Brady Bunch. Desi Arnaz, Don Drysdale, Tom Hanks, Don Ho, Davy Jones, Deacon Jones, Gordon Jump, Joe Nathan, Vincent Price, Marsha Wallace, Rita Wilson, and I have what they are famous for next to it in parentheses. Uh, number 10, two cast members from Gilligan's Island appeared as guests on the Brady Bunch. Name one of them. You can name two. If you get one right, you'll get a point. And that is it. No bonus. All right. Brady Bunch. I'm going to be dreaming about this damn stupid show. Oh, sorry. I Did I say that a lot? Uh, okay. I, I had a ball coming up with this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can tell. I was laughing the whole time. Wow, you were thinking how much we were going to enjoy this category. <laughs> Adrian, you are going to go on team. You can't hear the growls. <laughs> I'm going to my team. Joe, I have a Caspian, where are you? We need you. I can see a big goose egg on this one. Okay, we can we can guess the name of a cat or a dog, right? Caspian yeah. knows all of these. I'm sure he knows them all. I of course. don't know one of the, any one okay. of these. What was Carlos Carol's maiden name? I'm thinking McGillicuddy. Not McGillicuddy. That was that was I love Lucy. Okay. Yeah, I think Martin sounds better than McGillicuddy, although I, I only say that because it sounds right. It's either she Martin was, or it's was so white waspy, you know? Yeah. I think it's Martin. Okay, the dog's name was Joe. <laughs> Joe Brady. Spot, Fido. Uh, princess. Okay, the cat's name was Lucky. Right? Isn't that what you named? We're on a roll, I hope you know. <laughs> I, I, I would go with any of those names except Toonces. Okay. Yeah. Who would come up with that? Oh, wait, here's Karen. I got to put her on our team. She's She's got to have all these. So <laughs> we're, we're relying on her. She's going to know this. Okay. So we can just sit back now. What she happened to her? Why didn't she get here? I don't know. Karen, no pressure or anything, but we're, we're we need you bad. We need you bad, Karen. Did you see the did you see the questions? You're on mute. You're muted. Mute, mute, mute. Karen. You're on mute. Karen, you're muted. Karen. Sorry, I closed the windows because it opens a window every time I go in a breakout room. Oh, I know it's annoying. But you saw going. these questions, right? And you knew all the answers, I mean, right? I had feelings about stuff. Okay, well, that's better than where we are. Like, I feel like McGillicuddy could be it. No, McGillicuddy was uh, Lucy. Oh. That okay, was a maiden name. You know that if, uh, if it is McGillicuddy, that Karen and I are going to slap you. No, no, I love no. Lucy. Her name was McGillicuddy. Okay. <laughs> it could have been Carol's too. I wanted, but... I wanted to be McGillicuddy because that's awesome. I want to find a guy with the last name McGillicuddy. <laughs> I, found, I found McCarthy, so... Okay, the dog, I actually don't know. That's horrible. Okay, what do you think of the name Martin for, for Carol's maiden name? It seems like, like Peggy said, like... What were the choices? Baines? Are, are you on your cell phone or on a computer? Oh, cell phone. Oh, okay. Tyler. <coughs> you can't see him. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't we were saying Martin because it's just as boring as hell. I looked at the chat. There's nothing in the chat. Okay. What's the dog's name? Oh, I can put that for you. Hold on. Oh, good. I was just going to put two at a time, yeah, but so I put you them go. In the chat, then I look at the chat. Yeah. I don't have a television or a computer. I'm Amish <laughs> or broke. I don't know what you want to call it. You're not Amish. You're, You're broke here. and Amish. I'm broke and Amish. Don't tell my community. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I wait, I, I missed the first ones. Here's one, two, and three. Okay. Okay, so the dog's name is I don't what do does anybody remember what the dog looked like? I don't even remember the, what the I, dog I can't pick I don't remember the I didn't watch that dog. So much, so. I don't think I ever really watched it. I don't remember there being a cat either. Carrie, do you I know which of the cats it is? I, it's like I saw the show because I had a, a not cool dad and I didn't watch it with them, but I watched it like I was unsupervised or something. <laughs> I don't remember a dog or a cat. Yeah, I don't either. Okay, well, I think Lucky because I'm just picking. Caspian. Lucky, lucky sounds lucky. Let's do it. Caspian. Please tell me you watched Brady Bunch. And you're just you're answering, but you're muted. Nobody knows that you're answering the questions right now. I have never seen an episode of the Brady Bunch. I have never seen two minutes of the Brady Bunch. Oh, what a beautiful, pure brain you must have. What did I do in my life? Yeah, you didn't that? let him watch the Brady Bunch, Mom. <laughs> okay. Good dog. Do you want to do like Spot or Fido or something? Yeah, yeah. I I think I think Spot's fine. I think Spot. Fine. Okay. It's better, it's better than anything else. Buys over 94 books of trading stamps. So why is it 94? How was their dispute settled? How could, what would be the funniest way the Brady Bunch kids would have remember to Solomon and the baby rip them in half of course you don't think that that maybe yeah. they they gambled or did a um I, I'm going with the Solomon to sit yeah talk. me too all right it's easy enough to do I don't think it's funny enough but yeah it's they might have bought something that they all wanted with it or something yeah oh, they yeah. shared them or and why but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with breaking them in half okay when did the first episode there. 71? 69, 70. 70. Yes, 69. I didn't know. As far as when the last episode aired, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards the uh, 74, 75. Yeah. I remember um, a girlfriend I dated back then in 76. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be a very bad confession you're going to make, James. No, she she was on the, she was a an extra on the on the show. Oh. And uh. she got to, she met Maureen McCormick and told me that she's a total bitch. Ah. Uh. And, and that was in what year? Uh, I was dating her in seven, was it 77? So, so, and I don't remember when it was um when you know how long she had so she was on the show. But you said she was on the show prior when you were dating. dating her, or she had been no, on the show before we were. Uh, she was on the show before we were dating. Okay, so maybe seventy-five. I don't. I'm leaning that in that direction. Uh, no idea. Seventy-five. So how many episodes do you think there was? You seasons, I should say, because if it ended in seventy-five, were well, they were there... kids. They were kids, so kids family shows don't last that long because then the kids they age out. I don't well, think they brought in that Oliver kid. Oh, they brought in another. And how did kid? that work out? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm saying, if it if it started in '68, then that would be seven years run. Could it have been a seven year run? Mm, that sounds no. long. I thought '69 and '75. That's just what I guessed. '69. '69 and '75. That'd be a six year run. '69 or '70. I think it's one of the middle ones. Okay, if you say 70, run. then it was a five-year run. So do you think it's a five-year run or a six-year run? I'd say six. It was on yeah. Okay, go 69 then. So the first episode is 69. We're saying, oh my God, we're going to screw this up so bad. Marsha gets hit in the nose with what? I'm thinking of basketball. Baseball. Huh? How about a baseball bat? I thought basketball. And I don't oh, remember why. Okay, I guessed it, baseball, but I'll go with basketball. It may be the only episode I saw anything of. 
but for some reason basketball hit a yeah. hit a nerve okay. volleyball wouldn't cause that damage and uh well it could if you get slapped in the face with a fast moving volleyball it might but um i don't i don't know why basketball i couldn't tell you okay now i gotta turn this down because mark's working by so the male doctor was on a sitcom from 59 to 63 could that have been leave it to beaver and then it would be hugh beaumont he played the dad like dr kildare or something like well well it oh, wasn't a doctor good. necessarily it was a doctor just some a dad in another sitcom he that didn't have to be good. a doctor i like that i think beaver was about that time Well, Beaver no. was, I think, older, though. Mm -hmm. it, I used to watch it. It seemed a lot older because it was in black and white. Yeah. yeah. And Brain Bunch was in color. But then we're talking older. 10 years earlier than that. Yeah. But he could still, it didn't say. There wasn't say much was, color until, like, mid-60s. Yeah. Because Leave it to Beaver seems kind of old. This is 59 to 63. That's yeah. pretty old. Yeah. Although there are a lot other sitcoms and other dads. So, yeah. Um, okay, and then the mom was in a sitcom that aired from 74 to 84. That's 10 years. That's a long time. And actually coincided to some extent, possibly, with this show because. What, what we said it was going to end in 75. Mm -hmm. So she was on the same time. Maybe she was on in 75. I don't know. But that I can't think of what would have been on from 74 to 80 that had a mom. What was the years? 74 to 84 for the mom one. 74 to 84. Wow. That was I was okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to question what was nine because I'm afraid we're gonna run out of time. All okay. right, so it's pencil and Hugh Beaumont. Okay, so who was not on? And some of these I know for sure were like I know Don Ho was and Davy Jones was and oh really? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. They went to Hawaii at one point. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Vincent Price was and read it. Well, it might have been Tom Hanks. I don't know. But that's what stuck out to me. It just seemed like a throw-in answer. It seems like, yeah, I could see his wife. Well, it's not that. Tom Hanks. It's the it's the Rita Wilson. Oh, Tom Hanks is above. That. Oh, Tom Hanks is above that. And yeah. then if you go down, you I wouldn't think then. Hanks was on there because that was that was he wasn't he was, really famous at that point, was no. he? No. And his wife was older, right? She's a little bit older, and she could have been one of the kids' friends. Yeah, so I kind of think it might be him. Yeah, I'd go I with think him. I can see most everybody else, definitely. Davy Jones took Marsha to the prom. Really? That was, that was one of our questions we had before. Okay, two cast members from Gilligan's Island appeared as guests in the Brady Bunch. Name one of them. Well, how many cast members can we name on Gilligan's Island that, like, he wants the real actor's name, like Bob Denver? What the I hell think, would they be doing on the Brady Bunch? Well, they it, love it, the island and it's gonna be, be stupid, whatever it is. So there's it could be Bob Denver, it could be um the guy that's Mr. Magoo Bacchus, Jim Bacchus. So on question 10, Kevin, do you want the name of the actor who was on Gilligan's Island or you want the name of the character who was on Gilligan's Island? I'll take either one. Okay. Oh, Larry Williams in room three needs help. Okay, I'll go to room three. <laughs> So it could have been one of the girls. They just happened to show up on Gilligan's Island. I mean, on the Brady Bench. Oh, I'm sure they made some ridiculous. I only have one person on my screen. You didn't go to your room. I didn't? Yeah, go to your room. Everybody's in the room discussing. I did, though. Let me look. You shut up. <laughs> no you're in your room oh they all left honey they're it's you're all in the main room now they're all in the what 
Your your team is done. My team is done, but how do I get back on the answer page? They're they're already back. They're all back. He needs to go to leave room. Well, they're all four there. Okay. You want to go with Bob Denver? It's fine with me. Sure. Okay. We have we have answers for everything, don't we? <laughs> they're probably all wrong, but we have them. Oh okay. my god! Oh my god! I don't think it was cutting this the the things down in the middle. I think they bought one big prize they all could enjoy, okay. like a trampoline okay or something. That. Because okay. it just doesn't seem like, I mean, how would you split up 94? That's, yeah. It seems I'm like okay. their, their ending would be more heartbreaking. Like we all are just gonna buy one prize, one big thing for Alice or something. Yeah. Okay. Something we can all enjoy. Like a puppy named Fluffy. <laughs> oh Lord, I didn't write anything down, you guys, because. I, I... Okay, so you're thinking that it's not have they bought they they pulled their resources and bought something. Okay, I got to go over to help Mark. Hold on a second, you guys. And if they bought something together, what do we think it might have been? Bought something for their parents. Bought something for Alice. I like the yeah, Alice idea. Something. Yeah, that somebody. Yeah. Let's just say bought something for someone else. Okay. That's generic enough. We might be able to. Yeah. Talk our way into get being right about it if it's even remotely right. <laughs> so if McGillicuddy is I love Lucy, are the other ones? Can we say, oh yeah, this one is this show then, and then eliminate. Do you know what I'm saying? If McGillicuddy yeah. is from another show, maybe the other maiden names are from other shows and we can like have a better guess by eliminating other shows. Well, we figure it's not Brady because that's her married name. Yeah. So I, we don't, I think it's not McGillicuddy. Okay. So is Tyler... Have you got 10 answers? <laughs> we do. Oh, we're up to two, I think. Oh, you're such a evil one james <laughs> i had to make something hard so kyle kyle wouldn't know all the answers. oh it's because of carl huh well i guarantee i would bet no one gets a 10 on this round oh well it's not any here. help if, if everybody else gets a two really it'd be well, great it if doesn't carl, matter if carl, if carl gets a, if kyle gets more than everybody i'll be surprised because everybody's guessing it's a tough round I okay admit, good tough, intentionally the others were too easy Oh, yeah. That's why we got the theme on the second one, right, y'all? You, you ignored <laughs> the hint. Recent history. Yeah, but that wasn't recent history. I was thinking history. It was the history. first round. That's, that's first first round history. history. The second round. I was thinking history. And then Keurig was talking about, I remember the actors' names who played the parts. She said yeah, that. Yeah, Keurig, we're going to blame you. Remember that? You said that. You Sorry. were watching the credits. I remember her saying that. Watching and the credits I knew the, the name actors' Florence. names, and I was like, "Wow, she's gonna get round two just like that." That's but I, I was thinking. you know, I was thinking history. Yeah, right. me too. Like right. History, I know. like Recent Florence, history. as in like the the. If you notice, they lined up too. Like the first one. No, was, we didn't yeah. notice. Yeah, did. everything. It was so it who was all in order? Was it? But the, my alphabetical order was off. Christopher Knight or something paid. Yes, I met yeah. him. He wrote did a you? book, Growing Up Brady. He did I remember a that coming out, yeah. And he, he is the most successful of all the Bradys. Yes, and we went to the talk, and my aunt got in line for her book to get signed, and we talked to him <laughs> for a minute. He's a sweetheart. I met Greg. What did he play? He played he was, Peter Brady, the middle one. Oh, I thought Peter was the oldest. Mike was the no, oldest. No, Greg is the oldest. Oh, well, yeah, Greg. <laughs> I, I met I Greg. Met one of the Bradys. That doesn't surprise me at all, Kevin. You've met everybody. There he is. There he is. There is Greg, and like there's yeah. Greg with there's Greg with the tiki doll. Yeah. Total sweetheart. Kevin's married knows everybody. No, I just go to events and take photos of famous people. Yeah. 
I met him the same day I met uh, Don McLean. They were hey, at the Don same- McLean is going to be doing is going to be um, appearing at the Texas. Um, no, he isn't. Thing. No, he isn't. Today he <laughs> withdrew. today what he withdrew from it. Oh well, there's somebody has some taste. But why would he be doing it for the NRA anyway? He was going to, they hired him to perform at um, a gun rally thing. Oh, and that's like on his Facebook on my list. Page, on his Facebook fan page, me and a few other people mentioned that's not a good idea. He thought about it and he withdrew. But he went in the first place. He was going to. Yeah, because it wasn't NRA. about people being killed. He was just going to, he was being paid it's to the sing. the NRA. I know, but he was being paid to sing. And then I when he care. thought about it, it's called someone blood said, money. hey, not what just happened. It's in Texas, too. What just happened in Texas, it's not a good idea. And he said, yeah, you're right. And he withdrew. It was in the news right. today. Well, that's, at least I, that's good to hear. But the point kind is. kind of a jerk, though, you know, in real life. Yeah, I would say. He, I mean, he I'm ditched his wife, song, beat her up, and ditched her, and then married a, like, 29-year-old girl. Yeah. She's not a girl if she's 29. Well. <laughs> She <laughs> was when she met him. She was a swimsuit model and she's like 29 now. And he's like 70 something. Ooh. I gotta look that up. <laughs> that was a fast ooh. Um, so you got 10 answers? Yeah. No? We're yeah. ready to go back. Okay. I'm going back. Good job, team. Glad I could help near Carl Carl's oh. house and I've known Carl for years so I, I brought my kids with me so Susan got to meet uh, my kids as well yeah. nice yep we had a good time good you're muted and see. oh there's Mark right there he was wondering what it was taking everybody so long because we don't know <laughs> <laughs> so let me end let me end the rooms. Oh, they are they're ending. Oh man. Don McLean. Okay, let's see. I don't hear anything. Well, nobody's saying anything. I have to apologize anything. to the kids who don't know the Brady Bunch. Sorry, <laughs> Caspian. If you haven't seen the repeats, you might not have had fun at this round. Well, you can also apologize to the people who saw it when they were like 12 years old and don't have photographic memory. They never so, wanted to see it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Don McLean married a woman who's 49 young, years younger than him. Wait yeah, go. that's old news. Sorry, he no, did that a few years ago. Hey, that might be oh, he's question. in a relationship with her. It doesn't say he's married to her. Oh, he's, at, I'm pretty sure he's married to her age? now. He's, him, he was born John in 45. McLean. So you he know? is... Go uh, ahead. He is 76. I'm going to see him next week. Why you know, Susan, the older I... I used to be repulsed by such things. The older I get as a single person, I'm like, <laughs> how old am I going to get before I said... I don't give a damn. I don't care how young they are. The window, the window gets wider and wider the older you get. No, that's just creepy. Ooh. But if it's that or being alone, yeah, well, I'd rather don't. be alone. And Don but, McLean you is. Well, you're not alone though. I know. <laughs> he's he's, he's seventy six and she's twenty six or something. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, but, it's it's creepy. It is. Well, well, in ten years, I might think I might be okay with that. Well, the answer. I know somebody today. in a marriage with a similar age gap. It's not actually that weird, if you know. Oh, people. is it the couple you were telling us about? about yes, he's 12. like 30, 34, <laughs> and his husband is seventy-five. When I when I say window, it, it's not necessarily acting on it. It's just not <laughs> creeping yourself out. You go. Eh, it's a- Don made yeah. news today because he withdrew from the NRA. Yeah. Uh, place he was going to perform at in response to me and a few other people telling him on his web on his fan base page not a good idea so yeah well excuse a bunch me. of people said things and he said you're right and he it wasn't a good it. idea before the recent things in the yeah news. i was just saying no, he was being paid and then you know it just you know it ain't worth it 
Yeah. No kidding. Uh, answers. Dude. Answers. Maybe you should have thought about well, that. <laughs> We're what, what, was the name, what, what was the name of that porn star that uh, oh my God. Actor, that billionaire that uh, oh yeah the one uh, that Anne Marie and, and, and of course you know even Anne though Nicole Smith she yeah, wasn't a porn though, star no the one that Trump well. with the porn star was that Trump one <laughs> anyway well, the answer matter. to number one is the answer number one is <laughs> Carol Ann Tyler oh then her name oh. was Martin then her name was Brady. So wait, what? what? He said name Martin. Was Tyler. Her maiden name was Tyler. Oh, I thought she said Martin. Then it was Martin because she got married to the first guy. Oh. And then she married Brady. But the answer, Man. the maiden name is Tyler. I'm sorry, teen. Carl. Well, we knew it wasn't McGillicenty. Yes. Or that's Cuddy. What that's <laughs> how, did, how did you say that again, Susan? <laughs> McGillicenty. <laughs> McGillicenty. <laughs> Lucille Ball was McGillicuddy. Right. Everybody wanted to know that for that. <laughs> Number two, the answer is Tiger. Hey, hey, all right. Good. Hey, okay. Good Number three is oh. Hey, somebody got that? Yeah. Yeah. Who three got that? Three, three is what? Three. You can repeat the answer. Right. Kelly Number got three that. Three was Fluffy. Ah. Yeah. Post okay. the answer. Karen remember those. Number oh, four, they had these trading books like S and H green stamps, but they were called gold or something stamps, and they each yep. had a few books. And they found out the redemption store was about to close. And they wanted to pull them together to buy something to get their prize. And Alice pulls out a drawer full of them. Now they have way too many. So to, dis to settle their dispute on what they're going to buy, the boys want a canoe. The girls want a solo machine. But to settle their dispute, they build a house of cards. And it gets higher and higher and higher until somebody's bracelet knocks it down and they, and they lose. So they, they have to have built a house of cards. But the not what not surprisingly, the gift of the Magi people. Well, it would have been one of the girls wearing the bracelet. That and then what the happened? I, I forgot how, but what ended was they went there to buy the sewing machine. The girls won and they bought a TV set instead to share with everybody. I thought you said that the bracelet. Okay, that's kind of the gift of the Magi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> close. <is. sighs> so they built we, a house of cards. Our it was a very was... tense episode because they were nervous and Anyway, the, hey, was Kevin our, Spacey there? Was Kevin Spacey I, there? I'm yeah, a Don McLean. <laughs> On uh, the number, number five is 1969, September 26, right. 1969. Whoa. Good job, right. James. You got a point. Job, number six is March 8th, 1974. Oh, yeah. Good job, oh, hey. And number seven, a football was yeah. thrown into oh. her face. And her nose blew up. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. What was the answer to uh, number six? March 8th, 1974. I'll post the answers. We didn't get it, Susan. <laughs> number eight. Yeah, but I'm trying to write all the correct answers. Number eight. Now. The actor was Herbert Anderson. <laughs> he played the dad on Dennis the Menace. Oh. Uh, and oh, the woman oh, yeah. who played the doctor is Marion Ross from Happy Days. Oh, yep. yes. The person oh, who did not that? appear we got that was wrong. Tom Hanks. <laughs> okay. Yes, we got one right. Tom Hanks yeah, was right. not in the, oh. but his wife was Rita Wilson was, but yeah, she wasn't his wife surprising. at the time. She was she wasn't she Wilson older. at the time. She was I don't know. She was a cheerleader. The two people who appeared was Mr. and Mrs. Howell, Jim Backus and Natalie Shaver. Oh, oh man, them. we didn't even think of them. Millionaire and his wife. A millionaire. Yep. And, wife. and there's the answers. God. Jim Backus, Thurston Howell, and Natalie Schaefer, the only Gilligan's Island cast member, Sherwood Swatch's big follow up series, The Brady Bunch. Stupid. stupid oh, team, I was psychic. <laughs> That's exactly what Susan. I guess we were going to get right. <laughs> Who named the I dog? I mean, my Tiger? God. I don't know any of these. So, Battle You couldn't of even Earth. guess the name of a dog or a cat, right? <laughs> I agree. Good spot. I agree. And Battle now. For something completely different. No, we need scores. Oh, oh yeah. Scores. 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 Hold on. I'm copying <laughs> these scores. So you gotta wait to like copy them. Thank Susan, you. our team would do better if we didn't do the scores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm hoping that's gonna be true with everybody. Mm, nope. Oh, wait, you've got some scores to put up? Okay. I gotta move all this stuff out of the way. Hold on. Battle of Alberta is for all. What? Oh, it's a football thing or something. Maybe somebody's recording it. Yeah, no spoilers, oh, Vincent. 
What I just say the scores. That's all. Oh, okay. she doesn't want to even know what it is. People might be recording oh. it. We'll watch yeah, it later. My husband recorded it. Okay, so oh, you can't. And hear I the usually, growls. I usually record it, but I'm watching it live now. So. <laughs> scores here. Who can't hear the growls? Uh, seven. Oh Whoa. come on! Wow, you got seven. Nice. There. Seven cheaters. Um, <laughs> yeah. Avi, Avi, five, I think. I got five too. Cheaters too. Okay, um, <laughs> our team. We got two. 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 Oh. That's the kind, that's the kind <laughs> of answer this 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 thing is, should have had. Stranger New World things. Six. Wow. Uh, keep your thoughts and prayers. We have Carl. Eight. Ah. I hate them. Look wow. at them. That ain't right. Hence, hence the name. Stupid, stupid, stupid thing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and <laughs> now for something completely different. Oh, Monty Python, I hope. Okay. No, more mystery category. Well, you said something completely different, so I got excited. It's not the Brady Bunch. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. <laughs> that's a relief. Okay. You're, you're, you're guaranteed it's not Brady Bunch. Did well, Billy Joel? It just could be Brady listen. Bunch tangent. Archer's oh. family. Could be Archer's family. Family. Who played, oh, number one, who played Matt Foley, the guy that lived in a van down by the river? Oh. That's question number one. Question number two. Blank song was written by Kenny Loggins, but became a top 10 hit for Ann Murray. Here are some lyrics. You can sing them, but I'm not going to sing them. Yeah. Who's mu muting? Is anybody <laughs> muting? Hey, I'm the host. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to humor me. We've been very hmm. lax about it. Somebody referred, me. almost almost asked a similar question earlier. Who plays guitar and writes songs with Mick Jagger? Ah. <clears throat> Number four, she played Rebecca on Full House and pled guilty to a college admissions bribery scandal. Oh. <laughs> Question number five. I heard this answer earlier. Somebody was a psychic. Oops, I pasted the wrong one. Hold on. <coughs> I almost pasted three and four twice. A blank sandwich consists of corned beef, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, Russian dressing between slices of rye bread, grilled until the bread is crispy and the cheese melts. Question six. She was so famous, they named a non-alcoholic drink after her. Question number seven. Who was injured on June 7th, 2014, when the Mercedes he was in was rear-ended by a Walmart truck? <gasps> what a way to go. <laughs> number eight. What is the theme that ties the above answers together? Hint, ignore the surnames. I couldn't come up with 10. That's why the, the, that is number eight for the category, for the theme. Okay. Number nine, could be related. Mm -hmm. Could be related. On what TV show does Jan fight with Mike at a dinner at a dinner party? <laughs> if you saw the episode, you'll know. Oh, now, cool. this question might be the toughest one of the night, number 10, because it's so obscure. I'll be impressed if anyone, including Kyle, gets it. But some of you comic book nerds might. Pepper Potts, the secretary in the Iron Man comics, is modeled after who? Hint, it's one of the people mentioned somewhere in tonight's answers. 
So you might get an educated guess, but if you really know it, I'm impressed. And that is it, no bonus. <clears throat> Dear God, help <laughs> us. <laughs> oh my God. How many did we get on that last one? Two. <laughs> oh, Shit, Lord. We Somebody I think help. we'll match our score this time. I, I think we'll be lucky to match our score. No, I know Shirley Temple is number six. Shirley Temple Chris and Farley. Ruben's, Ruben's that makes sandwich. Sense. Chris Farley's number one. Oh, 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 Chris Farley. Okay. What, what show is this? Matt Foley, what show is that? It's Saturday Night Live. Oh, okay. And then that number sense. seven, his first name is Tracy. He's a comedian. He's black. And I cannot. Oh, yeah. Tracy um, Morgan. Yeah. Tracy Morgan. Thank you. God, you guys are good, man. I'd be. Shirley, we got Shirley Temple, number six. Who plays guitars and writes songs with Mick Jagger? Which band is that? Devin is Tracy oh, Morgan. So it is Mick Jagger in Rolling Stones. Oh, oh who's in the who's, the? who's the guitarist for for the Rolling Stones? What's a, what question are we on? Three. Are We're we bouncing on? around a lot, by the way. Yeah, yeah we are. Sorry. Did we even discuss number two? No. No. She Does anybody the remember? Is Tracy is it, Morgan. Is it Annie's song? I think Annie's song was somebody John else. John Denver. Yeah, that oh, was a Denver song. Was not. But but John Denver may not have written it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't. I don't remember. I hear. I hear Kenny Loggins sing it, not John Denver. So I think it might not be any song. Okay. Who plays Brian guitar and writes songs with Mick Jagger? No clue. It's one of the Rolling Stones. Caspian, you know this. Isn't that Keith Richards? Thank you. See, he knows. Thank it. You. I think it must be Keith. He's still alive, <laughs> but let's was kill that, him tonight. <laughs> Great. Oh. Okay, number four was one of these. The only reason I would have known who this person was is because they kept appearing in the news. One of those right. women and she's married to the rich Italian guy, and she's been in like all these. Hallmark Lori Laughlin. Lori Laughlin, excellent, good work. That's the only one I remember. And the other one was. Uh, Bill Macy's, William H. Macy's wife, who's also oh, an actor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and those he, he skated on that one. Yeah, he really skated. She took the fall for him. Yeah. Okay, so number five, a sandwich. A Ruben. Sandwich. Ruben. Ruben, in. yeah. It's my favorite. Ooh, it doesn't... It can be really good if you're in the mood. Ooh. It's if that sauerkraut. Record, how good can it be? Ooh, that's just... Yeah, that's, that's, that's why it's good. I've never, if I've never tried their Reuben, then I have to order the Reuben to try it. Uh huh. I have to. Hmm. You're a connoisseur of Reuben sandwiches. Yes, they're my favorite. Uh, 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 I've never actually cooked one at home, and I cook. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> sauerkraut disgusts me. Ew. Oh. Mm. I love sauerkraut. Ooh. Good sauerkraut. Mm. Yes. Okay, so so far the names, and we're only missing one. We've got Chris, Keith, Lori, Ruben, Shirley, and Tracy. Wait, and where's Tracy? Tracy Morgan. Is that number two? Number seven. seven. Oh, Tracy Morgan. Really? Yes. I don't even know who that is. He's a black comedian. Oh, he and he was, was hit he by was on, a Walmart truck? He was on Saturday Night Live, and he was on um, Did he die? 30 Rock. No. no, he didn't die. He came back. Yeah. Okay, Ruben's a really... He came back on name. the show, not came back to life. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Ruben's number really two, unique. we think it's Annie's? Uh, let, let's see if we can get the theme, and I think we might get the name if we get it. Chris, Keith, Lori, Ruben, Shirley, and Tracy. So the other thing was he said um, after the theme that tied them together, he kind of said for nine and ten they might be related. So let's try nine. Um, the, uh, is nine the office? Because I think Jan was a character on the office. 
Yes. I think there was a Michael too. And the Brady Bunch sounds too, uh, because this is not supposed to be about the Brady Bunch. Yeah, there's a Michael on the office, but I don't think there's a Mike. And does, is the question Mike or Michael? It's Mike. I, okay. But Jan might have called him that. I don't remember him calling him Mike. I used to watch it. Caspian, you know number 10, right? It might be no. the office. because. Why would I know that? Because you know so much. I thought you would know this obscure piece of... I know nothing about comic books. Oh. Okay. One Can of the people name somebody who was... It's a, a female that was named tonight. Yeah. What was the first category? I wasn't here. It was uh, Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh, God. No, tell you what. We're sick of the Brady Bunch. Okay, so some of the women who have been named tonight. Um, somebody named Alice. Carol Burnett. Could it be Carol Burnett? Could it be Cindy Lou Who? Carol Burnett was an answer? Yeah. Um, Marsha Warfield. Uh, we had a woman, Ann Wilson. We had Susan B. Anthony. We had a Florence. We had an Eve Arden. We had a uh, Marion Ross. That's the only women have been named today. So do you think it's Carol Burnett? Or Eve Arden is kind of a type, a secretarial Pepper, type. Pepper Potts is very serious. You don't think it could be Carol Burnett? Well, no, because she's, she's like famous. real goofy. I don't know, because Pepper Potts is nothing like Carol Burnett. If she's based on her, unless it's like not I'm impressed her. that you know who Pepper Potts is. Yeah, I, yeah, I watched yeah. it. And Cool Dad. Um, and one of my dad's chickens was named Pepper because I named it Pepper and a hawk got her. Oh. My oh. dad tried to save it and it was too late. It was really hard. Um, oh. I know. You think then Eve Arden is a better choice because she's kind of snarky all the time? I don't know who Eve Arden is. You'll you'll know her if you see her, but you've seen her a million times. Like a little bit professional and a little proper. No, I mean, she's more like snarky and bitchy and snarly and very Okay, um, that sounds like something more likely to play um, very satirical. Okay, so let's use that her. could be pepper pot. Yeah, that sounds a little better. Okay, so what is our theme? You can't, okay, so Ruben's a really unique name. So Ruben's a huge clue, I think. Okay, There's not Ruben. that many Rubens. Uh, I know of a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. But it's a, I think it's a Jewish name. What do you have for um, answers? Do you have 10 answers? No. <laughs> We're no. Number two. For some reason, we're missing number eight. Is Brian's song a movie or is that a song? Song and a movie. Okay. But that's not it. That's not it. Okay. Um, Carrie, can you count the count the underscore line things? Oh, I need someone to put it in the chat. Oh, sorry. Good question. Susan? Oh, I thought you're. I'm trying. I'm trying. Question I just, two. I didn't want to do it if you're doing it. No, I can do it. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can beat you. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> no, it didn't work. I got it. Okay. Okay. So let me think. One, two, three, four, five. That didn't work anyway. So that it's five. That would still be Brian. But that's not it. What else? What Brian? And then what else could it be? Five. A N N I E. Annie. What do we guess? Annie. It could be Annie's, and it could be that we just because that's the only song blank song that I that. Yeah, and that's the one I knew. So it could oh, be. Oh, you know, I know the song. I don't like the song at all, but I know what I know this tune. <laughs> Oh, I know the song. Okay. Awful song. Oh, Great it's song. Better than Mandy. It's gagging. 
I'm never going to let you forget that. <laughs> Manny. Oh, Mandy. Oh, Mandy. <laughs> Probably not Mandy. Annie. Mandy by, by Elton John. Oh, no. Mandy. Mandy by Barry <laughs> That's the only words I know. <laughs> oh, no. Anne Mandy. Murray. My first dance to my ex-husband was an Anne Murray song. Oh dear! You know the song though. Oh, Even though I should have known that. We could probably all sing it, but we can't remember so that, that name. With you, honey. The, the hint there, though, it was, you know, if it's written by Anne Murray, why would she call it Annie's song? Yeah. If she wrote it about a guy. I think it's Brian. But Kenny Rogers, Kenny Brian. Loggins, the Loggins and Messina guy. I think it's him. He he wrote it, not her, right. and she made it popular. I'm, I'm gonna guess Brian. That's we don't if we can't think of something. No idea. Okay, so what is the theme of the stupid thing? <laughs> okay, so Reuben, like Reuben, should be a huge clue because there's not that many Reubens. What's the answer for number one? Chris, Chris Farley. Farley. Okay, so you only use his first name, Chris. Yeah, we, we know. We got it. We got it, Kevin. Chris. Who writes with Pete, Mick Jagger? Lori, Reuben, Shirley, Tracy. Lori, Reuben, Shirley, Tracy. Probably a TV Shirley's show. also a very uncommon name. Shirley Reuben. Laverne and Shirley. Laverne. <laughs> happy days. Could it be Happy Days? No, that's not Happy Days. <laughs> happy days, days a few days. weeks ago. Yeah, I can't yeah, be Happy, happy Days. Uh, Laverne and Shirley were. Could it be Laverne's song? <laughs> No, sure. You probably won't give us Laverne and Shirley because that would yeah, give away too much of a giveaway. But it would it would be it, Laverne and Shirley was like Squiggy and um. Is there a Reuben on it? It was Squiggy and somebody, and I can't remember. Lenny and Squiggy. Lenny and Squiggy, and there's no Lenny in here. No. Did you get number six? Oh, you did. Yeah. Never mind. That was easy. Feel like You're number seven. Tracy Morgan. Here comes Larry. So Tracy, Larry. Shirley, Ruben, Laurie, Chris, Keith, and the unknown number two, you don't know. Larry. You don't Larry. know the cast of that TV show. Yeah, okay. we've written them down and we've talked about it and we don't know what the unifying theme is. You don't I never heard of Ruben Kincaid? Oops. Sorry. No. <laughs> Whoops. Mr. Mr. Well, you shouldn't have done that. And now we're recording. <laughs> you better leave the room. You're, we're I'm recording guilty. here. Go away. You are giving away our answers, and we need to struggle and screw up with not knowing these things. The struggle is real. I have no idea who that is. Um, Lisa with a Reuben. Reuben and Shirley. Room two is back again. I'm getting pissed at them. They're always back early. Oh, they suck. Oh. <laughs> it's Ben, Mark, Jane, and Mike Wolf. Either they know it or they're giving up. I think they got the theme. And somebody's going to remember that song because we're just being stupid for not remembering it. It was like Ann Wilson. I'm like, it's Ann Wilson. But what's her sister's name? <laughs> but it's not her. It's the other one. But yeah, yeah it was her. It was, now that I think about it. Okay. So Shirley, Tracy, Shirley and Tracy. Keith isn't that popular of a name either. Mm -mm. Is there something about the answer to nine that might help? So let's say maybe it's not the office. It could it be the Partridge family? Was there a Reuben in the Partridge family? I don't, Lori, I don't think it's Chris. So. I mean, I never watched that show either. How about Those dumbass shows. How about Seinfeld? Seinfeld. And I've never really seen that. Or or Friends. I never really saw that either. I don't think it matches mm -hmm. Friends or Seinfeld. I did watch no, it. How about the office? Friends. Does it match the office? I don't think it's Seinfeld and I don't think it's Friends. I watched a lot of TV at one point. Now I don't even own a TV. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're reached your limit. Yeah, I like maybe radio. you should get a whole bunch of stamps from the 
Yes, I need a hobby. And I can't crochet anymore, so I, I got carpal tunnel. Oh. I know, Ouch. it's really bad. You could join the Wikipedia editing team. <laughs> Not, not if you're computer. not if you don't have a computer that would be really hard yeah, and if you have carpal tunnel you don't want to be on the computer that much no, no. and i got it from chopping vegetables oh. yeah but i got it in both hands i don't know how that worked you need a mandolin Ooh. Mandolin. <laughs> um a kitchen a mandolin yeah how do you mince with the mandolin? Okay, Ruben. I feel like Ruben's gonna be like, like, duh, it's Ruben. Ugh. Well, we even know his last name. That lot of good it does because we didn't recognize that. Okay. Kincaid, is that from a TV show? There was a TV show, uh, Dr. Kincaid. Wasn't there a Dr. Kincaid on one of those soap operas or something? Oh, I don't know. I think we're not getting there. I really think we're not getting there. We got a lot of the answers. We did better than last time. Oh, you think we got more than one, huh? I think we got more than two. Oh, wow. name's a dog, Tiger. Room yeah, Tiger for back. a dog. That's Room just so two is back. What a stupid Dogs choice. need better names, George. <laughs> George. <laughs> or Cooper. Cooper's a good dog name. Cooper's a great dog name. If I just call him Cooper, Cooper. I got him, so I didn't Cooper, think I Cooper. Cooper, Cooper. He's Cooper the Pooper. He poops five times a day. There you go. That's what I would say. We call him, ooh, we have it a Pooper, Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> I have spent too much time with my cats here. They just yeah. sleep all the time, though. Yeah, um, he sleeps. I have no idea what the theme is, you guys. I'm. I'm, I'm my brain things. checked out. I have just given I'm up. Not, I can't. I gave control. up when we went after the second one. Caspian, you got anything? I think he's asleep. Nope. I think Cass has checked out. How about mm. pies? Is it pies? The Reuben pie, the Shirley pie, the Tracy pie? Flowers? Uh, I'm going to bet no. <laughs> <laughs> well, could it be... Okay, it's probably a show or a song, right? It's probably a show that I've never seen seeing... before. That's that's okay. probably what it is. None of us have ever seen this before. Are we saying Brian for two just to have an answer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's better than Annie. You know, it seems familiar to me. Somebody's song. Five letters. Uh. Oh, boy. Lucy? No. I just we're all going to just hit ourselves in the head when we hear it because we all know this. Yeah. It's in here. It's not me. You'll you'll remember it as soon as you hear it. You'll go, God damn it! Or something. Ruben. Like Ruben. It's Ruben's it's song. Letters. Ruben's song. Mm -hmm. Joey? No, Joey's? No. Um, Lana. <sighs> Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins made a lot of money and did a lot of work. Brandy? No idea. Good job, team. Stupidity. Netflix. Number one. Yeah. Yeah. One of the one yet another casualty. Netflix loves to cancel things. That's because Netflix has overextended itself with content. Yeah. Although that show was probably much more expensive than it needed <laughs> to be. They yeah. weren't doing it on psychics. It's off that they canceled the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Uh, oh dear. I watched it like five or six times when it came out and then they canceled it. Well, like the one of the main things I still subscribe to Netflix for, because I don't watch a whole lot on there. I mean, Stranger Things is obviously a big thing, but is, um, my kids like to watch the the anime on there. And that's like the main piece that they're gutting. And I'm like, well, oh, yeah. what do I I'm keep finally, this for? I'm finally getting to binge watch One Piece. <laughs> 
an attack from Titan. All right, Kevin, we give up. Ready, ready for answers? Jamie sure. has raised his hand. He is seeking to be recognized. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. High five, Jamie. Number one is Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Oh, Chris Farley. Number two is Danny's song. D A N N Y. Danny's song. Yay. Number three is Keith Richards. Oh. Yay. Number, number four two. is Lori Laughlin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> number five is Ruben. Mm -hmm. Ruben Sandwich. Number six is Shirley Temple. That's a great Number seven is Tracy Morgan. Yeah, and if you think about the names, Chris, Danny, Keith, Laurie, and Shirley Partridge and Tracy Partridge for the Partridge family with their manager, Ruben Kincaid. So the <laughs> number eight is the Partridge family cast members. No. What? Is it really? I thought it was a Brady Bunch. <laughs> Partridge family. That's what I said. Completely different. I'm joking. Yeah, completely <laughs> different. <laughs> and now for joke. something completely different. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is going up there with the Punch and Judy. You better watch out. Number Ooh. eight is Patrick's Family Cast Members. Number nine is The Office. That's an episode of The Office. Yay, Mike Rob. Scott and Jan. With, with Jan the Falls amazing Falls. surround sound system. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wasn't the number 10. On Mike. Yeah, duh. Number 10, there was Michael. a character. I had to look. I had to find something interesting. And when I searched all the different characters, I found an interesting fact about a character named Schultze from the Bob Cummings show, which I had never heard of. Oh, yeah. But her, the character was Ann B. Davis, who later became Alice the Maid. So the uh, answer is Ann B. Davis. No that way. Pepper Potts is uh, modeled after. Dang it. Darn it. He got really got close. That. You just picked the wrong. Bob Cummings used to turn his car into an airplane and he, and he would fly it. Do you remember Schultze? Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember. I mean, yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. I, uh, yeah. Well, what was it about Schultz that was Pepper Potsy? The person who modeled, mo did the cartoon in the comic book, modeled Pepper Potts' character after Schultz. But how Pepper is that Potsy? related to something that happened tonight? Wasn't it supposed to be you gave Andy Davis is is the woman who played Schultz. Yep. And she oh, played, didn't know Alice was Alice the very the maid. first answer. Oh, okay. I wasn't here for that one. So, oh, was she a Alice redhead? The maid. Okay. No, no, she was but kind yeah, of she, made. wasn't she hawking? Right wasn't she hawking some uh, some uh, uh, paper towels at some point on some commercials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. jade paper towels. <laughs> yeah, she was from my hometown of Porterville, California. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ray, was, so was she oh, out? Yeah, was she funny. out as a lesbian there? I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I would say no. <laughs> Peggy, hey, tell us the dirt on this person I have never heard of before. Is she out now? No, I'm just making fun of Alice, the character on the Brady Bunch that Alice Aaron is the character was. Aaron is a lesbian in the closet. Was she? She was a little dyke. <laughs> no, but we're going to start a rumor. No, she used to get meat delivered at the rear, you know? I think you're thinking Ooh. of Selma. Oh. And Dobie oh Gillis. Damn, to Dobie Gillis? I, I never saw Dobie Gillis. Is that... Okay. Ooh, Zell, I think you're there. thinking of Zelda on Dobie Gillis. Zelda. Well, she's definitely out. Yeah, and the she's on the scores. scores. Uh, <sighs> city councilors. She's a city councilor in Los Angeles now. Tomorrow. Oh, is that right? She was yeah. in the state legislature for a long time. Oh. Yeah. She was great. Okay, here we go. So let's start with my team, which has got 20 now. There are too many sausages in democracy, Mr. President. We got seven. Oh, very good. Okay, next up is Avi Dvidrzin. Avi Nine. Oh Nine. my God. And number 24, you can't hear the growls. Uh, eight. I don't understand how we're getting scores that are good when these... <laughs> Stranger New World Things. Nine. Okay. Uh, you are in the lead. Keep your thoughts and prayers. We have Carl. Eight. Oh. Oh, by Ooh, one. Boy, oh. Carl's We're game. still in the game. <laughs> have a shot. Yeah. Game I think we ever had. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness, Lord. Okay. If this is about the Brady Bunch for the bonus, it's not. 
But this part or the partridge not about family. anything we've done tonight, not even close. Uh, oh, thing, there is a god. Okay, it's it's a it's a you, word letter type of a game. Okay, if you play Scrabble or you play Wordle, you will like. Oh wait, wait, words. wait! Did you just say that horrible word? I have to ban you forever. <laughs> Don't I say have. the W word in front of Susan. Do not oh, say that know. stupid game. I in said here. it. Wordle, 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 Wordle. I'm gonna fertile you out. So here's the thing. I couldn't come up with 10, so it came up with two groups of five plus a bonus, okay? So for the first five letters. That's, that's 10. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't come up with 10 of the same. Okay. So I come, I come up with a category for five and five, two different categories for five. And here's, here's what it is. If you play the word, the, the game Wordle. No. It's six words. There are, there he are, said there it are again. All five, there are all five letter words. There are many five letter words that contain three of the same letter. And I'll give you an the example. Ready. Mommy, M-O-M-M-Y. Daddy, D-A-D-D-Y. Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y, okay? Those are examples. What I want is five words in the English language that have five letters that have three of the same letter and they have to be three different letters. I don't want you to say mommy, daddy, and Bobby. And because it's so easy to go with the Y, they cannot end in a Y. And I'll put all the rules in there. And oh. to check a word, I will check it with the official Scrabble dictionary. So if you come up with something that I'm not sure of, I'll look it up in that dictionary to see if it's a real word. Okay, so Kevin, say that. Out of the five letters have say that three. again with just the essential information. It. It's in the <laughs> yes. post. Oh. Five letter words. Wow. With three okay. of the same letter. And I gave examples. And they and I want I want to know five words that have multiple three letters. Examples: mommy, daddy, Bobby. But they can't use the letter N in a Y. But they can't end in a Y. Yeah, so I don't want you to use mommy, daddy, or Bobby, because okay. there's a whole bunch of words that end in a Y that will make it way too oh, easy. And, and each word has to use three three letters, right? Oh, if if they all if one of them uses M's, another one has to use N's or something. Right. Yes, you can't so use proper, M's on proper names are allowed. Uh, if it's if it's allowed in Scrabble, it's so not. Say no, don't, it's not, don't it's do not. proper. It won't be in the Scrabble dictionary. But oh, Bobby would be allowed if I allowed the Y because it's not really, it's not just a proper name. You know, Bobby's like a Bobby cop kind of a thing. So these are words. That words with five letters three, and three. So if you were playing Wordle, three, you would have letter. three of the same letter in that within that clue. You know what I mean? Right, I've been playing for almost a year now. Character. I don't think we ever had one with three letters in it. That's I don't think so either. Any day now, now. For the second there... five, there are nine letters in the alphabet that do not work in any combination. An example is the letter Q. There are no five letter words that end, that have three Qs in it. So I wanna know three of Qs? the other eight know. letters, name five of them. Five letters that do not have three letters in a five letter word. It's all in the description too. In the, an example would be Q, time. the letter Q. Is Kevin, no this could take two hours. No, it ain't, no, it ain't. It's once you stack, once you get rolling, you think of one, somebody else will think of one. <laughs> and then the bonus, if you can find a letter, a word in the English language, a five letter word that has three consecutive letters, it does exist. Okay, three consecutive so like letters ABC. that are the same or just three consecutive letters? <laughs> three <laughs> consecutive, the same letters. Eight Any word that has letters. five consecutive letters. <laughs> I got one three of, the of the same consecutive letter. Okay. I said it wrong, but it's written correctly. The instructions okay. I tried to make as clear as possible. Oh my God. So just go through each letter of the alphabet and think if you can come up with one, you know, with the, these three uh, letters. No, hyph no hyphenated words, correct? No, five letter words. They're all legal words in Scrabble. Go to your rooms. Ask questions if you have them, but I think I explained it better. This is going to take a long time, I... Kevin. Oh, yeah. Good thing we're running ahead. Okay, here we go. My brain hurts. <laughs> Your brain hurts. Oh, Lordy, Morty, Dordy. Oh, dear. All right. Woohoo. Can anybody start me out with a word? That's okay. I think we should start with just do breaking it down into the three, there's like three different categories. Or let's just do the one category at a time. Okay. Let's do one category at a time. So, well, some... we have to, we have definitely have to do that. So, we should start with the five letters with three of the same. I think that's going to be the harder, probably. 
go down the alphabet. Is there a letter, is there a word you can think of that has three A's in it? And remember we can use S. So why, why we can't use, but we can use S. So it could be plural. And so the words don't have to be five letters long specifically? No, they have to be five letters. They have to be five, five letters, letters long. They have to be five letter words. But, so like, but it well, could be a four letter word that can pluralize with an Like, okay, for that example. That's correct, that would be a five letter word. So how about the, like, for example, if you're, if the letter is O, then maybe it would be O blank, O, O blank, or O blank, O, O, S. But I don't know of a word, but that's what it, yeah. that would be a word that has three letters in it. So I, don't, I, I couldn't think of an Five A. On. So on B, there's a bib lettuce that has two, a B, I, B, B. I don't know if it can be pluralized, but it's a possibility. And I can't think well, of any other. Would you like me to look up B I B B S in the scrap? No, no, don't do that. Go away. No, go away. Okay. I have my own Scrabble dictionary. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so then I got so the three I'll, letters. The it's probably going to start with one of those three letters. I, I generally levy levy. Otherwise, there's no other place to put what? it. Levy is our word. L e v e e. Oh, there's one. That's it. That one. We have one. And how about lols, L-O-L-L-S, lolling so, about? High spot? L-O-L-L-S, lols. I guess. Or there's the lols. Word. There's also lols. lols. And lols. Okay. There, we got three. How do you spell it? L-U-L-L-S. If you use L-O-L-L-S, you can't use L-U-L-L-S. You have to come up with a different letter. Oh, well, okay. we, can't, we can't repeat the same? Yeah, different. Different oh letters. my god, I didn't understand any of that. Okay, so go with lols because I know that's L U L L S because we know that's a better. Yeah, I said uh, list you can't end in a Y in each of your five words, must use a different set of three letters. Okay, so okay. we can't use okay, so we can't use lols and lols. Okay. You guys come up real quick with the polarization. That's a huge help. When they when um, you come up with that, instead of getting focused on daddy and ending in a Y. Mm -hmm. Did we say uh, levy? Levy, L-E-V-E-E. -E. But that doesn't have three letters of the yeah. same. Yeah, oh, e -E. three E's. Two V's and three E's. Levy, L-E-V-E. -E. Oh, I wrote it wrong. Oh, duh, okay. Okay. Um, M. And let's not get trapped on the, uh, like the, the system here of, uh, you know, starting off with the, that consonant, that one letter. Right. It can start off with a vowel. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, it hasn't helped me yet, though. Yeah. Man, a B. F G. So it could be a D that ends in like it, like a past tense D. Oh yeah, duded. Duded. Yeah, I don't know if that's an illegal word. But... I I can't find it. I can't see it as a real word. Yeah, I don't think that is either. Duded. Um, Change some of the vowels around. See if anything comes up. Yeah, A E I O U doted dated. Yes. 
Rarer. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. very good. R A R E R. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay, so we can't use R. Yeah. So now we have R. We may have a B if we want to go with bibs. That's a last ditch effort. We have L and E. So we have four ish. There's got to be one with O. I don't. I think O is going to be hard because that means well, there's three O's. It starts in O, O, or ends with O. Tighter. Tighter. What? Tighter. T i t e r. Oh no! Wait, no! Forget. Yeah, not enough. Mm. Oh, how about melee? M E L E E. Oh, we have an E. We have an E. Oh, shit. But yes, we can't life. use these. Yeah, apart from the fact that it's fucked. Fluff. What? F U F L U F F. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Thank Excellent. you, Jess. I'm so glad you're awake. You're awake. Mama M O M M A. Yes. Bingo. Yep. We've got five. Oh, Perfect. brilliant. We've got Fluff, Mama, Rarer, Levy, and Lulz. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Good job, perfect. guys. Okay. Nice team. Nice. So um, the next category is words that are valid. Okay. So there, there are nine letters in the alphabet that cannot be used three times in any five letter word. Like O. Yeah, I wonder is it the vowels? Or like no, I thought. Like, e. like no, w because. Well, it could be X. I think X is probably yeah, one. Yeah, X I had. Z maybe. O? Z is probably a good bet. Yeah, I feel like vowels would be something. Like U seems like it wouldn't be in a word three times. I think a V. I, I, I agree with you about U. Yeah. I'm saying O. Oh, even though I couldn't think of one, I think it's more likely that it would be a, war, a letter that is not used as much. O is a little more common than like a U or a V or a Z or an X. Is everybody okay with Z, X? So X, Z, V, and U so far. That's what I guess. That's X, Z, U, and what? X, Z, V, and U. Yeah. What about w? w? I thought W. I sort of can't think of any. Mm -hmm. so that's five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Now we got the bonus. Find one five letter word with three. Oh, of the God. Same this was spectrum. easier than the Brady Bunch. <laughs> so <laughs> bonus again. I'm um, fine with the bonus in chat. Okay. Will do. Oops. Damn it. I hate this computer sometimes. I, I meant to get three my consecutive letters, all a five letter word with three 
of the same consecutive letter. It's not in your dictionary, but it is listed as official Scrabble word. Do you think we're going to get this? It's not a, it's not a, how would we know? Same it? consecutive letter. It could be an L. Could be an O. <laughs> you love your O. Well, it's like. She's bonded to that O. It could be L-O-O-O-P. Is that a word? Well, three though. Yeah, there's three O's. L O O O P. Well, double O is a word. Loopy. Or how about L O S S S? Losses. Loss. Can we throw Hawaiian words in there in the mix? If they're in the Scrabble dictionary. But even Hawaiian words, I can't think of one that has three consecutive vowels. Uh, there's a there are some Hawaiian words I know of, but. <clears throat> um, hmm. Nothing else we have. I'm pretty sure we have 10. Somebody's going to have 11 and snack them. Um, this one's hard. If it's not in the official, if it's not a word in our dictionary, then how would we know it? Unless you play Scrabble and you only know words that are like unusual. Well, that thing, it may not be in your dictionary, but it's listed. That's just a, uh, a trying to throw us off. In other words, it's a word that you would only know if you play Scrabble. It's not a word you're going to use on a normal. Well, it's a word day. that's not going to be common. Well, it would be if it was a word that was a word that we would use possibly in our speech someday, then it would be in our dictionary. No, it may not be. There's there's only uh, there's no dictionary that covers every word. Even the Oxford uh, Dictionary uh, takes words out after a while. Um. It just seems impossible that there's one with three consecutive same letters. Well, I think we got a good, good a solid 10, so. So just make up a word. I think it's L O O O P. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. Yeah, it's, it's official word. I'm going to make it a word right. It means I'm a. Uh, it's a Kevin word. It's a word that Kevin Mocker has made for us. It's a, it's a loop. Okay. I'm ready to call it good. I'm done. Yeah. My brain is done. Well, okay. we're, putting, we're putting loopy down with three O's because that's a new city. student word. There is a city in California, Zyzix. I think it's like Z Y Z Z X. But that's a proper noun. And it's not three consecutive the same. Oh, what are you you're talking right. about with the other, but that if if that's true, that would ruin our our Z. Mm. But yeah, and, it, and it's a, a proper word, name, like, so it's yeah, that's not it. The problem is the three consecutive. That's just practically there is a word he just found somewhere. <gasps> yeah, Susan, I'm telling you, I've been watching this. I've been watching this. I've been watching this case. Oh yeah, I'm, you, I'm ready. You God, you know Robin is so obsessed. Yeah, He's so obsessed. I am too. I want to All see right. her get her ass kicked. But Johnny, the law is very interesting watching the case. I, I think, I, you know what it really, is, Peggy? You know what it is? I've been sick to death that there's been no 
resolution with anything, you know, with Trump right. and everything, yeah. everybody's just gotten off scot-free with everything. Mm -hmm. So I think what it is, is why I'm fascinated with this court case is because it looks like somebody somewhere is finally going to have something happen to them for, for lying or whatever it is or thing. Cause it just feels like there's gonna be a resolution in the, tomorrow yeah. or, or very soon. And about time somebody gets busted for something. <laughs> That's how it feels. I'm just wow. very disturbed. Johnny Depp case. Oh. It it's, disturbs me that everybody's jumping all over her. Like, like it's very burn the witch mentality, and it really disturbs me. And I think she's nuts, and I think she's lying. But you know what? She's mentally disturbed, probably. Oh yeah, she. Chose, is. He chose her. He married her, and now he wants to punish her for being what she is. No, I don't think he wants to punish her because this is. I think she brought it on herself and you know what at this point I'm just I watched her today and she oh it was just awful and she attacks other people too she's calling people liars and yeah it was just well she's she's a nightmare but she yeah. also could be an abused nightmare who knows yeah, well I'm sure she was she's abused from her relationships with her father and stuff we're probably yeah. we're diagnosing of course but it, my point is is that i just I want to see somebody somewhere get some kind of justice even that college scandal stuff that we were talking about those people yeah. didn't have didn't have enough jail time for what they did they didn't they didn't have except that in the public opinion of course they're going to be absolutely ostracized for you know they may not be able no, to no no Lori laughlin is already getting back on one of her hallmark shows they're already asking her back yeah. So that's what I mean. It doesn't feel like anybody has a real repercussions. So they, they're white. It, it's okay. They're white. They can't go to jail for very long because they're white. George. Just, you know, whenever the shooting happened in Texas, I was so upset. Well, everybody probably is. And then I'm sitting here watching the jury, you know, this jury trial. And I'm like, what the hell's wrong with me watching this stupid ass million multi-millionaires it, it's their going at each other and here yes. is serious stuff and it made me really mad at myself but then i also said i, I can't do anything i'm helpless yeah. i'm absolutely right. helpless with what's going on there's nothing i could do if it's vaccine related i can do something about that with the gsow project mm -hmm. if it's pseudoscience related i can do something but this other stuff i have i'm totally helpless like everybody else so if it if it helps me to watch yeah the Depp trial and learn a little bit about it. law and see her, her get her ass handed to her today it was a the ending and they it was just rip her from limb to limb and i know a woman who did this i know this woman mm -hmm. this woman yeah. amber heard i know another woman who a mm -hmm. bunch of years ago did the exact same thing to a man in the skeptic community and she i mean just looking at amber heard's the way she does things the way she says things it just like reminds you of her oh huh? it is her it is like yeah. and everybody's like oh but we got to believe the victim and it was like she's lying look at no i know oh. yeah so that's how it feels like somebody's got to get some justice out of this somewhere because ain't the the shooting stuff not, give it a week Give it a couple weeks. Yeah, it's gone. Well, Nobody will be. Why can't we do so? Well, because uh, Don McLean just now decided that it might be a bad idea to appear at an NRA event. No. That the NRA is still in business is remarkable. Yeah, that's what I mean. All of these things, even the Southern Baptist stuff, all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's been exposed ugly, and we're so still ugly. waiting for trial for the, um, I mean, the Catholic church, look, that's been exposed so many times and we're still not, that's still not resolved. And, and like the NRA thing, they took them, they were supposed to be taking them to court in New York. Yeah. When, when, at what, what century is that trial going to happen? It's just, nothing's ever done. Carrick looks very sad. Sorry, Carrick. Let's talk about that. It's cake. almost midnight. I got up at 5 a.m. It's almost midnight. Ouch. Yeah.
Well, I'd know? show you a happy, a happy George, but George is so asleep right now because I took him to a friend's oh. house and he was running around and being crazy and having such a great time. And now he's just in a coma. He's in a puppy coma. And if yeah, I wake him up, I will regret that. No, I get it. Cooper's asleep too. Yeah. We went to a new park today and took a walk. Did you say a nude park? New. No, new. <laughs> I'm trying I'm sure to Cooper was dog nude. park. Was this Cooper is a really nude? funny concept. Nude dog park is funny. Did you did was Cooper, Cooper was nude? actually wearing he was actually wearing a shirt with flip-flops on it? Not on his feet. No. Okay, clothes. so were you nude? No, there were children around. Well, the, were the children nude? <laughs> no, nobody the, the Canadian geese were very nude. Okay, and the, well the geese are nude. There were baby Canadian geese everywhere. It was awesome. Oh, Kevin, she's going to nude. And they were apologizing too. You guys got <laughs> yeah, ten the Canadian geese are apologizing. You got ten, 10 points there? Yeah, we yeah. got it. I okay. think we did. The Canadian Good. geese were apologizing to people. Sorry, sorry. For the sorry. Nudity. We're just Sorry. planning our nude dog park. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, usually aren't dogs nude at the dog park anyway? But not the I, humans. I've never been to a dog park because Cooper hates other dogs. Well, uh, maybe you should go to a nude like one. Last time. I'm hoping well, the that dogs are. doesn't do that. Usually. Cast yeah. in. What time are you going to come over? Paula's coming over on Saturday night. I have no idea. Okay, so come over. Peggy, don't forget. Oh, is it Sunday? Yeah. I, I think, I, I no, think I'm booked. Thursday. I'm no, booked. Today is Thursday. <laughs> I, I got uh, book group people in town, and I got a... Booker I people? Know. I got a book group that is turned into a virtual book group, but now there there's a few of them in town, so I get to see them. Are they nude? Book physical we're going to the nude dog park <laughs> uh, don't forget your slippers your, your it's Canadian a nude meat. book group <laughs> that could be very interesting you can put nude in front of almost anything and it makes it funny huh <laughs> you take the jacket off of the book and it's nude there you go yeah. bye my brain hurts well you know what you guys if you watch the video make sure you watch the last conversation that we were having in our breakout room as i get tired i get silly and Karen really <laughs> she stepped I in i know it. that silliness well i think you mean you get silly er er yeah, there you go you're implying you don't start out in a silly state. oh man i got in the room and they said something wrong naked geese and i got out <laughs> <laughs> Karen went nude today at a park what? Like we're we went to a nude park. Place. You're on mute, Karen, so you can't respond. So there. Where Where went to a new dog park. People. She went to a nude dog dog park. Where is this? All dogs Where are, are nude. Are the dogs nude? Are... Just the dogs have to be nude. No collars. Oh, Not, oh the geese are apparently Not even apologizing because they're Canadian geese. Yes. <laughs> Karen, Karen do you, you, you know that you're actually... you, you are ghosted by a Canadian? Uh -huh. <laughs> Karen, you're muted. And did you realize geese is one of those Sorry. five words? Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> it just occurred oh, to me when no. you said it. Oh my God. <laughs> Stupid geese. There's a lot of E's. There's a lot of E's. We used uh, an E though. Oh wow. We already used the E, but yeah. yeah we use we, we use the E also. Too. We use the E. Stupid game. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let's do the answers. The news. Ones. Let's get rid of the Lords first. The ones that don't work. Q doesn't, uh, I'm sorry. The first letter that doesn't work is H. No H's, no J's, no K's, no Q's, no U's, no V, no W, no X, and no Y. There is a Z. Ooh. P-Z-A-Z-Z -Z -Z is a word. What's that? Z -Z. Was X one of them? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. X was one of them. Can you run those letters again? I'm sorry. Yeah, please. Yes. Uh, H, J, K, Q, U, V, W, X, and Y. Is that for the last one? Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah for the, those letters it, don't work. But the clue said they had to be consecutive letters. No, no, no. Before no, that. No, 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 no. Those, those are for the second five. The, word, the letters that don't work in the alphabet. We said... <laughs> We said X, Z, V, U, and W. 
Z works though. There is a word pizzazz. P-Z-A. So we got okay. all right. So that we got four. Not... We got four of those. Right. The, the bonus is the word G R R R L. Oh, how stupid! I know. What is it? What? Somebody just with made no, that up. With no... It's a <laughs> legal word in Scrabble. What is it? That's Scrabble dumb. It has no vowel. What is yeah, it? Yeah, has no vowel. That's dumb. It's, it's dumb. It doesn't fit the English language. I couldn't believe it myself. Well, what does it mean? I don't know. Slang. Girl. It's slang that slang. to say girl, but you can't use slang. <laughs> it's legal in Scrabble. Did Katie Perry make that up for California girls? Is that how it's spelled in the song? I don't know. Looking it up. <clears throat> All right. So I don't know how to check the answers because somebody did Bob's B O B B S. B O B B S is not a word. Legal in Scrabble. Bob's. There is no such thing as this well, medium definition. We'll just we'll just have to tell you our list. Kevin. Yes, I think yeah. so. It here's what here's me. what here's what. Uh, let me go over the common ones first. A lot of people got lulls. L u l o s. It's it's a not it's a it's a it's, young woman regarded as independent and strong or aggressive. So Karen was right. What is G R R R L? Yeah, that's that's the bonus one. Okay, but the letter A, there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of letter A's that are top. Did anybody use A? Oh, Caspian no. says it comes what from about okay. girl. Yeah, we yes, yes, we did. What, what'd you have for A? We didn't have one. Oh no, we didn't. Sorry. Asses. No, that's, no, that's S. S. That's S. Okay. Uh, for B, uh, B, I have Bubby. Well, that's a Y. Bubba, Girl, B, uh, B, Kevin, B, A. Kevin, it's easier to go to each team and get yeah, okay. one person to give you okay. their five. So yeah. So first team, do it, whoever they are. Team one. One person in team one. That would be as in our team? Yes, yeah. Carl, Janine, yeah. Bob, and Alan. Fluff. Yeah. F L U F F. Point. Rarer. R A R E R. Point. Added. A D D E D. Point. Lulls. L U L L S. Point. Uh, Epes. E P E E S. Epes. Epes. Is that English? That's a story. It's more than one okay. That's the sword yeah. in fencing. I yeah. don't see that. Oh, E P E E S. Yes, yes. that's yes. on the list. Yes. yes. Yeah. Point. Boom. Next okay. team. So that would be Stranger New World yes. things. Uh, we had fluff and we had error. Good, good. And oh. then um, right. trot, but we weren't sure if trot with two T's at the end is a proper. That is not on the list. Okay. There are T words, but that trot is not on there. Yeah, it's probably okay. just T-R-O-T. Okay, so that one's wrong. We had uh, bibs, B-I-B-B-S. That is good, bibs. It is. Oh, oh. B-I-B-B-S is a word. Yes. It's and then our other one is sloss, S-L-O-S-S. What? No. It's probably not a word. S words are Swiss, but it's stoss, stoss. sisses, S's, and asses. Those are S words. S's. A S S E S. S's. E S S E S. That's a good word. Next team. So this would be Avi. Mm-hmm. Avi Zane. Avi yeah. Romero Karen. We Bob got and fluff, lulls, error, asses, or assess, however you want to say it, and eerie. E E R I E. Good one. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, I had that one, but I. Oh. Yes, that's a good word. A lot of t- lot of e words. T P, Pee Wee, Peeve, Levy, G's, He's, Free, Fees, E A lot of e words. Okay, so team, MC. you can't hear the growls. Deborah, Jamie, Kelly. Oh, Kelly's gone. Leonard, Vincent, and Adrian. So we had rarer asses added. Epi. Good, good and good. And lulls. What was the first one you had there, Deborah? Rarer. Rare is good. Rare. Added. And what was the last one? Lulls? Lulls. Yeah. Lulls good. Good. Okay. So my team, there are too many sausages in democracy, Mr. President. Caspian, Susan, James, Kerrig, and Peggy. We, we had, had uh, in addition to three others, we had Levy and Mama. M-O-M-M-A. And lulls, yeah. lulls, rare, and fluff. Yep, yep, and yep. What was the second one, though? Levy. Yep. L-E-V-E-E. Nobody got geese. <laughs> we were talking about geese. Well, we already had the E anyway. Okay, Kevin, that was good. Points. A lot of nines and tens. It wasn't as bad as you thought once you got into it. Yeah, that was the easiest of all the categories you had tonight. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you thought it was going to be difficult because it's hard to explain. Well, it, yeah, it took a few minutes to understand the rules. Okay, so <clears throat> my team, how many points did we get? Nine. Fifteen, is that right? Fifteen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I heard? Minus New six. Math. We are tied for the lead. All right, everybody have a great night. <laughs> Stop the count. Stop the count. You can't hear the growls. I think we had 10. Yeah. That's wow. correct. Okay. Okay. Avi, wow. Avi, just de, de, de whatever. Nine. Avi, Avi, Zederzain. Avi, Zederzain. Okay, here we go. Strange and New World things. Seven. <gasps> you oh. got seven. You know what that means that I bet they did 10. What is it? 10. <laughs> we are gonna overthrow you, Carl. I think I think that I think that I think well, you know, Bob and Janine and Alan, I'm sure did well. Oh sure. So you our, gotta do everybody against place. Carl. We gotta do that. Thank you, Kevin. Bob knew a lot of answers. Thank you, tonight. Kevin. That was, uh, okay. that that was, was a lot of fun. Sort of fun. Was, yeah, I know, sort of. <laughs> he didn't like the Brady up. budget. It sucked. Oh, the Brady. <laughs> But, but at least they would tribute uh, I had fun. The, all of the group. Alan had fun, come. even though he didn't know Jack about the Brady Bunch. <laughs> the Brady yeah, Bunch. That's why you have to get the he'd other. He'd never heard of. He'd never yeah. heard of. Um, what was the other show that he'd never watched before? The movies, the Blues Brothers. Shit. Family. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Now he he saw a he, waste. He, a waste of two hours. Oh man. <laughs> Alan, Alan mostly thought and prayed. Before we go. <laughs> I'm going to be in Los Angeles next week. Is there anything I should see? Any recommendations? When are you going to be there? I would definitely be there. I, I have a recommendation. Thursday. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic technology. Go to the uh, Museum of Jurassic Technology. I've, I've, been to the, I've been to the Museum of Jurassic Technology, but that's a good one. Except okay. it's kind of close in there, you know? Good night, everybody. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Um, good night, Vincent. Um, I got another one. On my go to, uh, go to uh, where's the place we like to eat, Susan? Oh, go to Palermo's if you like Italian food. Oh man, it's right there on by the. No, Psychology I was thinking Bay. of Philippe, home of the beef dip. Oh yeah, Philippe's is a wonderful place to go to. Philippe's is amazing. Yeah, good night, guys. It's yeah, it's sorry. got sawdust on the ground, good night, kind of thing. See you all later. Diner. Oh yeah, that's true. I haven't been there in ages. I missed that. Right. Musso Frank is good. Oh no, Musso so, Frank is expensive. Go to Magic Castle, take a suit. I don't know if I can get. I don't know a magician to get me in. Sorry, I know, that's I can Let me take a suit. Bye. Talk, talk to Mark, and you have to have right. more than a suit. Yes. Maybe somebody will know somebody. More Wait, you can't just buy a ticket and go to Magic Castle? Oh, no, I get it. Not. You had to be friends with a magician. It's a private club. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. only know about it from what Mark, what I've seen on Facebook. That it's is so, so weird. I, I've been in one, but it, maybe it was a special event. It was a New Year's Eve thing. And I don't didn't know anybody. I was like probably 20 years old. Huh. You look like a magician. They let you in. At <laughs> 20? No. It looks like an old magician. Five, five of us went. <laughs> Five of us went from college. I remember that in New, Year, New Year's Eve. Somebody must have known somebody. Uh, in, in Manhattan. I think. It's really hard to get in these days, and it's so expensive. Let me hit they it. dropped like, how over expensive? one early. I'm out of here. Mark, how much?